Elizabeth's going to be joining us in a wee second. She's going to shimmy on in in a wee moment. They're doing a wee little bit of a mic swap over there. I'm Ali Defoy. It's great to see you. Happy Mother's Day to every single one of you. Um, of course, whether you're celebrating it today or whether you're just having a lovely day, we have so much planned for you. Not only have I got your late show. Oh, yes. Normally, we have an awesome late show. We have a good late show. We have got a cracker of a show for you tonight. Can I just say happy Mother's Day to my mummy, actually? My mum is off today. She's not even in today for Mother's Day. She's off to a curling final. She's playing in it. A curling final. So um, by the time my mum gets to watch this, she'll have played her curling final. Yeah, it's on the ice. It's like a winter Olympic sport. Okay. Anyway, um, so she won't be able to see this till she's come back. So hopefully, when you get back, mum, you'll have done well and you'll have won your curling competition. But either way, it's, a, it's taking part that, that matters, that counts. Um, we have a little competition coming up for you. Now, I know you might have done this maybe this morning and maybe this afternoon, so hopefully you'll have got into the way of it. I put a wee picture on Facebook. My name's Ali Devoy on Facebook. If you've seen it, you might already have spied in amongst all the cakes that are in the Gems TV gallery. Uh, or jewelry maker gallery, sorry, should I say? I was in the other gallery as well today with cake. You might have spied a little bead scoop on the right hand corner of the picture. That bead scoop is going to be given away as a prize today. If you can guess whose mum is in the picture. So I believe it's just director Tom and producer Danny and I, unless Kerry. We've got Kerry's mum as well, yay! So you're going to get to see four different pictures of four different mums, and you need to work out. Whose mum's who? We would have had Posh Scott, but he decided to go with the day shift. So? So? That is your reply. Yeah. So? Yeah. Oh my word, we were going to have words, Posh hey. Scott. Would you like to see the four mums? So you need to see, there's mum number one. Mm-hmm. Mum number three. Where's mum number two gone? Oh, you put them in a different order. So that's mum number three. That's number two. And there's number four. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not, did you want to put? Hold on a minute. We might not be quite finished. There might be a fifth mum. I'm not gonna tell you. Mm -mm. Oh, obviously I'm not gonna tell you whose mum it is. But um, yeah, we're gonna try and get a fifth mum, a fourth mum in there, one, two, three, four. Fifth mum, mm-hmm. <laughs> Jenny, you can't be in it. Everybody knows what you look like. <laughs> Jenny's like, I'm Max's mum. Can I be in it? <laughs> she didn't actually ask. So they, they suggested it. Um, right, so I'm going to offer a bead scoop for you. Mm -hmm. Whose mum is who? Text in the studio. 60777. Or alternatively, you can... Um, you need, sorry, not alternatively, you just need to drop us a wee text, JM Studio, or alternatively, yeah, you can join us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can also join us on, um, on the website, yeah, jewelrymaker.com or Facebook, Jewelrymaker UK. Join us on there, let us know who you think, whose mum is, and I might even add in another mum to that. Mm. Oh, is Glenn still about, or has Glenn gone home? Oh, he's gone home. Alrighty. I will keep you up to date with that. Right, you need to guess whose is who. We, oh, oh, this era is amazing. I have a brand new zircon strand for you. Not just any zircon, an amazing zircon strand for you. Never already given it to Gemma. Gemma's here, oh gosh, what am I like? The minute somebody puts food in their mouth or goes to take a sip of juice, I start, I start to talk to them. Gemma was just about to pick up a cup, was it coffee, tea? It's coffee. Oh, she was just about to pick up her cup of coffee uh, and I go to say hello. Gemma, hello. how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Did yeah. you manage to get your piece of cake? No, I didn't. You did I didn't it. have time, no. Can someone please slice up a piece of, was it the carrot cake you were going to go for? Can someone please slice a cake, uh, a slice of cake, slice the carrot cake, and bring in a slice for, Scott's on it. He's already in. Posh Scott's in the gallery. Good he's luck, used a knife Scott. before, I presume. Um, <laughs> he's going to slice up, and a big slice for our Gemma. She's going to be here for the next four hours. Minimum. Minimum. We have a little bit of sneaky naughties coming up. Gemma's got some wire. Mm -hmm. She's already got our zirk. Have you already done that? Yeah, yeah. You've okay. literally had that for like 30 minutes. You don't need to do much with it, do you, really? Can I put it on? Yeah. 
because I don't, I don't even, I just realised I don't have another strand to show you. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to, okay, Kerry's going to join the camera and I'm going to, oh my goodness. No, I'll come to you because I want to see your, I like your table. It's better than my table. <laughs> I'm going to go to, well, I've got lots of treats on my table. Let me, let me show you Gemma, because I love Gemma. And Gemma's awesome. And Gemma made me that beautiful pendant. I put the pendant on Facebook, so you all saw it mm. already. And I wore it all night long. I wore that pendant, Gemma. Oh, it looked really good. It was it? just gorgeous. It was gorgeous. But I thought if I wear it today, then I might not get extra jewellery to wear today. So I didn't wear it. <laughs> this is amazing. This is our zircon strand incorporated with our pearls. So that took you roughly how long? Oh, that went about seven or eight minutes. Because it, it's just threading. Just the stones do all the talking, don't they? Seven or eight minutes and you could have this. May I wear it? Yeah. May I, made, I wear I it? I deliberately made it tiny. <laughs> I knew yeah, you Yeah, I've got a on. little bit tiny wrist. Do you want me to? I would love to. Oh my gosh, and that's with a heart and everything. Yeah. It's, I just find the findings I could find. And Findings I could find. That should I be a new find. section, producer Danny. Findings I could find. And I've changed the name of Zircon. What have you changed it to? Vintage Diamond. That's what Vintage I'm calling it. Vintage Diamond. Yes. Mm. I love the sound of that. I'm in love with this bracelet. I don't ever want to take it off. So this is dreamy. Were they easy to work with, the Zircons? Yeah, really easy. As long as you, when you take them off the strand, I gem gently pull out the temporary strands so that they still row up on my board yeah and then they're easy to get hold of and graduate and so did you graduate these just the in size because it's slightly graduated so I wanted to work from the center out so I got a taper so it's a little bit of thought in it um, <laughs> yeah it a little bit of thought that didn't even last what 30 seconds I'm <laughs> sure with you 30 seconds oh job done could you imagine I had this strand and I thought we need to give it to Gemma she's gonna make the most beautiful piece of jewelry from it and I did I Lawless, it's just a dream. I'm gonna wear this all show. So this is from the Zircon Strand, um, and three pearls from Pearl Necklace, and you've just made. Oh, and they got the, there's more Zircon here. Yeah, a little. And you still got Zircon left. Yeah, I'm gonna do a pair of earrings. So we've got a whole suite. There you go. You'll have a whole suite to take home. <laughs> <gasps> that is perfect. Can I put it on? Of course. <laughs> Want to wear it all? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I, uh, see there's a reason, sorry, there's a reason why I didn't wear any jewellery today. It's because I knew I could wear this. Oh my gosh, Jim, I love it. I'm so excited. Was I, this, how long fairness, did this one take? In fairness, I did pinch the strand that you had on your neck so I could work you, with it. You did upstairs. pinch a strand. I did have a strand on my neck, this is true. There is a mistake in that, can you see it? <laughs> what do you mean? I've put one zircon on one side and two on the other. <gasps> but never mind. But that, that was what you were thinking all along. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we have, Gemma, we've been thinking about this in our shift. And we've come to the conclusion that it would be a great idea mm -hmm. to have, instead of a wall of fame, a whoops of fame. So for any design that wasn't quite what you thought it was oh, going to be, you take, a, you take a picture and it's like, whoops, okay. whoops, there's an extra one in there. Yeah. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> so we can get nice. a prize. Yeah. For any mistake, or, or not even necessarily a mistake, just something you were designing, but it didn't maybe turn out what you were going to do in the first place. Mm. So it had an idea in your head of making, I don't know, a necklace, mm. but then somehow didn't quite work, so it became a bracelet. A bracelet. Or, yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Oh gosh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. So all do you think time. that would be good to win a hundred pounds if that's happened to you? Yeah, if you send definitely. in your picture? Because we're always saying that new designs often come from happy accidents, aren't we? Exactly. So, so it's um, always a good idea when you make a mistake just. To keep working with it even though you know because you never know you never know what's going to happen exactly so I think from now on you need to take a picture of anything that you think oh gosh that's not what I was going to do take a picture of it write down what you were going to do so that we can have a little bit ready for it we're going to have a competition I've decided we're going to do it I'll keep you up to date with what's going to happen but we're going to do it so and that's you too mm -hmm. any happy okay. mistakes Jim I want to see them I want to see it all to, I'm allowed to enter this competition yeah you can enter the yeah. competition of course you can. I don't see why not. Gemma can enter, right? Gemma makes happy mistakes. I do. I think so. I've just seen Anne in the, st in the, um, the, work the workshop room. What is she up to? She waiting to do her... Oh, we've got a DVD coming up later with her, Gemma. And uh, Anne's going to record one as well. Oh. Well, if you want some cake, Anne, let us know. Sitting in there all by herself. 
Right, should we get started? Sorry, I've got lots and lots to show you. I'm, I cannot wait. This is coming. We've only got one star by him. That was no one. That wasn't even Posh Scott. That wasn't Kerry. That wasn't Ke <laughs> Kerry. Bless her, got the fright of her life there. You're right, love. <laughs> I don't know where that but Yeah, we're all all right. We're all fine. Crisis Burton. It's just a plastic box that fell down off the top. Thanks, Danny. Do you want to say hello, Danny? Do you want to say happy Mother's Day to your mum? <laughs> Look at that smile. Happy Mother's Day to both my mums. That's Chloe Jones and Claudine Jones. Thank you. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. I'm not laughing that, um, that Danny said happy mar happy birthday to his mum. Uh, happy birthday, happy Mother's Day. Um, but Jess, one of the other ladies' names that he mentioned is actually a lady who works here. He's trying to wind her up. Anyway, right, so this is our bead scoop. This could be one if you can work out whose mum's who. So we'll put all the correct answers together and then we will select at random a winner. So text us in 60777 or free jewelrymaker.com. You can send us a free message from there or alternatively, you can drop us a wee message um, by the text. Just put GM Studio at the start. There are so much for you tonight. Brand new strands, lots and lots of treats, lots and lots to show you. Oh, gem setting kit is coming up as a star buy. This is gonna be awesome. We've actually got some mounts for you as well. So not just the gem setting. Do you want me to open it for you? Oh, it's quite big actually. <laughs> oh, awesome. This is awesome. I want one. I want one straight away. A gem setting toolkit. And we've got two mounts as well, which I'll show you later. You're gonna get as well ring mounts. Fan dabby dozy. Right, I'm gonna get it started for you. Lots and lots to show you. And I'm going to start with <gasps> green onyx. I'm thinking Mother's Day colours. I'm thinking spring. Definitely, definitely thinking about May. May's birthstone being emerald, so emerald greens. I'm going to move this out of the way so Gemma can see, because she can't see over there, can you? Do you love these greens? I these? love that. You That's do. My, probably my favourite green, green on Really? It. Yeah, it's beautiful. <gasps> we could have given you this as well. Oh no, no, I feel bad. But you have got some green mesh. Is it green mesh or blue yes. mesh? You've no, got? it's well, it's like a really deep, deep petrol. Green. Ooh, so it's petrol. a deep petrol green. I think it's sort of a but it would go like colour, isn't it? Mm, gorgeous colour. Oh, Gemma's got some wire mesh, mesh. If you've never seen it before, Gemma's got a show coming up on the 10th of April. Yeah. So you'll need to keep your eyes peeled for that, which means you can get that home and have it ready to work along with during the show as an idea. Would that work? That's a great idea. Would these greens go with the red wire mesh you've got coming up? Yeah, it would. Quite a seasonal. It would look quite seasonal, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking mm. of um, Christmas time. Yeah. We should ban that word. I know I should ban that <laughs> word, shouldn't Not I? Yet, please. I'm really sorry, but reds and green make me think of Christmas. It's got, you, you can't, do. it, it does. It, it's reasonable. <laughs> I like that one. It's reasonable. <laughs> 22 spaces, lustrous as you like, faceted every single one of them. Really, really pretty in their shapes. And graduate as well, so you could do what uh, Gemma was saying she does, get one of the beading buddies, because I know you already saw them earlier today, Jenny had them on, so you can add this to the same order as that, or you can start an order, see if there are any of them left, lay your strand out and then decide to graduate them, maybe some of them will be richer in colour, more saturated than others, you might, do you do sort of colour graduation as well, or do you just do size graduation? Um, a bit of both. A bit yeah, of both. a bit of both, it depends. Depends on what it is, I guess, yeah. it depends how different the colours are. Yeah. Or how different, sorry, not the colour, but the actual saturation. Because some of these are quite dark and then some mm. of them are quite glowing. You've got that opportunity to see some of them. Can you see? They kind of stick out, don't they, a little bit, the darker ones. So you'll think, oh, I might put those together. Mm. Or you might quite like it with the mixture. Look at that shorter one in the middle. Who's that cheeky wee chappy in there? So you've got 8 by 5 millimetre and they graduate to 12, uh, to, sorry, 14 by 6 millimetre. 21 centimetre strand for you, little spacers in between. Now lots of different designers say to keep the spacers, they're good to work with, to use. Do you ever use them Gemma? The wee yeah. bits in between? You do? Yeah I do, especially if I'm doing sort of a pendant design, it's always nice to, to separate the pendant from the rest of the neckline. Ah, so see? I'll often use them there. 
Yeah. So there you go. Gemma particularly uses them in necklaces for separating for the neckline. So that in itself, especially with the little drops like these. I'm thinking little drop earrings maybe. With 22 available, already starting to be allocated. Goodness me, I forgot to tell you that, didn't I? So excited about looking at them. 0800 644 655. With your jewellery, do you find that in May more green gemstones sell? Or is that just a thought? 9.95 for the strand available for you on the late show tonight when you fancy you can join me on the phone lines you can join me on the web it's a free phone number on 0800 644 655 on the landline or alternatively you can join us as i say on jewelrymaker.com as quickly as you can to try and get hold of them We've got lots and lots to show you this is your first opportunity of the night with me so to add the order when you can uh, add your order when you can you haven't got my what sorry Oh, I'm going to get to see some information. Oh, Teresa's got hers. Anne in Manchester's in. Michelle's in. Anonymous are in. Middlesex, Lanarkshire, Greater Manchester, Nottingham, Lancashire. Do you tend to work with the colours of the season? So like in May, would you work with more greens or is that just a, is that just a thought we all think? Um, I don't know. I think you're influenced heavily by the seasons. I know I get more colourful in the summer and more sort of subdued in the winter. Oh, yes. So I think I'm influenced, but not necessarily. And so if I'm influenced, then buyers are influenced too. So I think, yeah, probably makes a big difference. I think, I think that's a, a... Well, I like that answer. I think you're right. I think I, I don't really I used to ever never never wear greens at all but then in the summertime I started to wear a little bit more of sort of emerald greens just mm. one or two bits of, just so, so slowly introducing it into my collection yeah it's, it's a lovely green it looks great with amethyst that green that's exactly the tone I put with purple oh so, yeah. yeah so if I get some amethyst <gasps> purple amethyst or pink I it would definitely be purple purple me. let me see what I've got in my oh could it be perfect purple? I mean, would you put those with it? <laughs> Your face is a picture. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, I would definitely put those. That's the perfect purple to go with that green. Should we do this one now then? Should we put them so you can have them together? Because of course you've got the contrast between the, the flat, flat pairs and then the faceted pairs. Do you have a preference between polished and faceted? Or does it pen, depend on the stone? For me, it depends on the stone. Yeah. Some look better faceted, some look quite glowing. I just, I love them all, to be honest. I, I just love to have the variety anyway, so, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know if I have a preference. It depends. I like, see, when I see zircon, I like that faceted. Hmm. More so, I think, because it works better with the light. But I think with gems like this, I think either or. Yeah. Because they're more about the colour, aren't they? And yeah, the richness. And the, the clarity is lovely in those purples, so it's nice just to be able to see straight to through see the gem. Through. Where th whereas when they're faceted, it bounces around a bit more. So yeah. I, so you've not got a choice if it's faceted. You will be looking everywhere if it's yeah. faceted, but if yeah. it's polished, you're just enjoying that dreamy colour, that juicy. I always think it looks a little bit juicier when it's polished. Mmm, polished pears. These make me think of the grape designs that I've been seeing a lot recently. Have you made any grape designs, Gemma? No, I, I, no, I haven't. Um, what was I thinking then? It's like the raindrops. There's a lot of raindrop designs around at the moment. So without being faceted, I think that's perfect. Yeah, Purple perfect. rain. Purple rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Anytime I see a song that's getting it, then they start singing in the gallery. They're trying to sing Purple Rain to me. I'm seeing trying to. It's a they great are, song you're, to you're sing. doing it. A splendid job in there, gentlemen. That's that's the best I've ever heard of Purple Rain, actually. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> who wasn't there? Um, wasn't there a rugby star? Was it a French rugby star who sang Purple Rain? No, what was it? He sang Rain Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. Who was that? Sebastian Chabal. Sebastian Chabal. 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 Did he? Did you just say that name or did he yeah, actually that was, do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that. It made me, it made me laugh. That's funny. That would go with your pearl, maybe. If I hold it up here and you can see it against the, the whites of your pearl. It's a big pearl I've got coming up. Really? Not even £10 for this strand? Not even 10, uh, 10 strands. Not even £10. In 23, of course, they've been allocated quite quickly. I started with 26. I've not even got your price in. 80 carats, Janice is in, Brenda's in, Barb is in, Teresa's in, Carol's in, Claire's in. They do go gorgeously. It's all, well, it's all thanks to Gemma. I probably wouldn't have thought. 
Gemma's all, all the well. When you look at Gemma and you see how stylish she is and you see the designs that she creates straight away, I just want to be Gemma. I just want to be you. So straight away, knowing that that's what you put together, I'm in, I'm You're done. In. Job done, I want it. Easy as that, eh? Easy as that. <laughs> so with 22 spaces, although it might look like quite a lot, bear in mind how quickly it is to just click it into your web basket and check it out. Always remember that. There are some greens available. Not that many, but we're going to get that price in for you so you can treat yourself on the Amethyst February's Birthstone, the ultimate when it comes to, to sort of love gemstones, February's Birthstone. Your, your Amethyst seems to be very, very popular. I don't think it's ever, I don't think you can really go wrong with a purple because you can always use a lighter pastel shade to go with it, or you can use a, a dark, uh, or sorry, a, a dark rich stone. You could put black with it. Completely up to you what you fancy, but. I'm a little bit in love with this rose quartz that's coming up later on, I'm not going to lie. Have you ever seen rose quartz like this before? It, it's outstanding. And then, if I put in some pink amethyst, I am just... Do you think they would work together? That's a lovely combination. Yeah, absolutely. Because I am very naughty tonight. I've chosen, instead of having Instead of having two star buys in this hour, I've got one, and have four star buys in the next hour. Is that really, really naughty? I'm supposed to have two, maybe an hour, if I'm lucky. So I've got one in this hour, because it means I, I couldn't have two. I could either have the zircon or two, two other treats. So I chose the zircon, and then I put four together. So these two are going to be a double star buy, rose quartz and pink amethyst, because I think they would work together. Yeah, you think they lovely. were amazing? They are lovely together. And then with a little bit of purple to add in that pop of colour. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes, 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 I'm excited. Luba's in and Christian, uh, Christina's in. Well done to you, Nottingham. Sure you've got your I'll take these two away. These are star buys that are coming up at, uh, ooh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, the pair of these are coming up together. And then I have another dream beauty. So if you're not looking for pinks and purples today, I've got some uh, turquoise treats for you coming up as well. Oh, I'm a rebel tonight, I tell you. I've got Barbara and Richard showing an interest in Worcestershire and West Midlands and Staffordshire and London all showing an interest. Thank you very, very much. Anita's in and Anna's in. Anonymous is in and County Down. Uh, County Down, I'm sorry, forgive me. Janice is in, Brenda's is in. Hello to you all, how are you doing? We've got 15 of these left. With Amethyst, is that a good strand to have in your stash that you could just always pick up and add to different things? Yeah, and Amethyst is so popular, you'll find it's probably the most requested in... Okay. Um, it's easily recognisable for one, so yes. on a craft fair everybody recognises Amethyst. And then it's one of the most requested, I think, for commission pieces, general jewellery, not not bridal but general jewellery. So if you think about it, it's one everybody recognises, it's one that's probably the most commissioned maybe out with bridal mm. jewellery but it's also one of the best qualities so if people recognise amethyst and then see a quality like that they'll mm. think gosh that's amazing quality of amethyst, the rest of the jewellery even though I maybe don't know a stone like zircon or I don't know anything else like Russian that's dioxide, it. they must be good quality if that's the quality of the amethyst they've got, that's what I would think. Yeah that's it, they've already got an idea then like that yeah. These are all genuine gemstones because you don't have to explain it once they've seen something they recognise. So. so yeah, set set your standard with the quality of gems everybody recognises and then you can work on it from there. We've had a text message in from Edwina and Devon. Hi Edwina, you've said hi Ali and Gemma. What a treat to have you both in the Late Show, isn't it? I'm so chuffed, I'm so pleased to have Gemma tonight. Um, could I ask, is the Zircon the special star buy at the end of the show? Thanks. Well. It should be Edwina, but as I said, I've been a little bit naughty and I've got it in your first hour. So it's going to be within the next 25, oh, 35 minutes. It's going to be before six o'clock. It's going to be, I know, I'm only allowed one star buy this hour because of it though. That's the only thing. So I could have had two star buys or one awesome star buy. So I've gone for one awesome star buy. I think you'll agree with me that I want to probably go with this. Obviously, if it's clear and white, you could put it with it. Yeah. May I put it Definitely. together? I'm going to leave it with you, but just quickly, so you can see with the zircon. Oh, I love zircon. Do you see how that makes it look vintage straight away? Yep. Something about that zircon is very vintage, very, I don't know, classy, timeless. I can't put my no, finger on it. absolutely classy, timeless, and it, it's 
it's hard to describe it. It's hard to find one word that will do it justice. Mm. It's well, I'll call it ineffable because I, I just can't. I, I just love it. But I've got so much to tell you about zircon. Don't worry if you've never heard of it. And please, whatever you do, do not confuse it with cubic zirconia, which is a fake synthetic man-made gem, which can be made anywhere at any point and is not difficult, because this is a genuine gem and it's really, really special. And I'll tell you all about it very, very shortly. Keep your eyes peeled. It's a dreamy, dreamy strand. Dreamy as you like. And it's not going to be at 50 or 40 or 30 pounds. I'm taking it low. Right, <gasps> fire opal. Is this the, the long one? The one that I've had my eye on? I've had my eye on this. It's magnificent. It's, oh, oh, oh yes. You are getting summer in a strand. Can anyone remember the flower we were talking about last night with your fire opal? Can you remember? Oh, go on, you know you can. You can remember, the, the flower that everybody reminisces and everybody, you've got it? Oh, producer Danny can remember. And what was it called? What do you mean, what was it called? That was what the question was. You can't say yes and then not remember what it was called. The gem of the bird of paradise. That's what this is. And there's a really stunning flower called the bird of paradise, which if you type into any of your search engines you will be able, and click sort of images, you'll be able to find this amazing flower. Bright orange at the tip, or almost sort of rich reds, then go through into bubbling oranges and then down to pastel yellows. This is a stunning, there it is there. This is called the, the bird of paradise. And a lot of people know your fire opal as the gem of the bird of paradise because of the oranges, because of the golden yellows, because of those striking reds that you get. And true fire opal from Mexico, Mexican fire opal. Well, it's known as the Mexican opal. It is the original location for your fire opal. It is amazing. So many of you seen different varieties of fire opal. This for me is one of the nicest nugget necklaces. I'm saying, I'm calling it a necklace. Obviously, you can do whatever you fancy with it. It's a full-blown strand. It's not just a little strand. It's a more than double the average strand. Originally, these strands were 18 centimetres here in Julian Maker when we first began. We now managed to get them up to 30 centimetres. Now they're at 40 centimetres, some of them. And this one's more than double that. It's 86. It's a huge strand, and it is jam-packed. Now, you have for yourself richness of colour, you can split them up, you can colour graduate them if you fancy, having some of the more of the reds together, having some of the oranges in there, the whites, completely up to you. This makes me think holiday, left, right and centre. Do you like this sort of gem? I do, I do, and I love that coral tone as well that's in there, that lovely. Oh yeah, the soft right. corals. Oh, mm, it's almost like a sort of salmony pink. Mm. So Glenn Lear, one of our sort of um, Gosh, he's a tremendous gem, uh, gentleman. <laughs> he's a tremendous gem. He is a gem, actually, and a gentleman. But he's wearing a shirt tonight that's um, uh, this colour, sort of salmony pink. That's his favourite colour, sort of paparazzi salmony, corally pink. Really lush. Gem, sorry, for anyone who hasn't heard of Glenn Lair, he is one of only two patent holders of the whole of the US to have the patent for the cut of a gemstone. Uh, and, of course, that cut and that gemstone is um, made for our sister channel, Gem TV, so it's... It's an amazing opportunity, as well as a gemologist, as well as sort of a lapidarist, all, all round gem knowledge guy. He, he's, he's amazing, he's phenomenal. I had a good wee chat with him actually before I came in to join you today. But um, yeah, so he had his sort of peachy salmony pink shirt on, or he had it ready to put on, and I was having a wee laugh because that's both of our favourite colour that sort mm. of salmony, corally, peachy pink. Oh, so you've got that, as well as your reds as well as your oranges. So you might have strands at home that maybe you've got in a 10 strand bundle or 20 strand bundle that have got some of the creams in, I've got some of the oranges or some of the reds and you want to use just some of the stones from here with that and you can split it up or, I mean I, I would probably be a bit lame and just restrand it and wear it on its own. Yeah, or crochet with it. Crochet with it? Yeah, I would put it, I would, those sort of, st those sort of stones I like to crochet with. <sighs> so you can see all the way around, they can move around and the colours can sort of merge in together like you know, like fallen leaves or something like that. You know, oh, like blossom. I want it now even more. Gemma gonna crochet for me. <laughs> I just, just as Gemma's talking, she's st standing with the wire gives more just casual as you like, yeah. But she's got like the most gorgeous coil she's making there and she's just in the mid-conversation mid while coiling. Oh my gosh, she just, 
You just do that like second nature now, don't you? Yeah, that's it. Well, it does become like that. Lots of people sit and make jewelry while they're watching the telly. They don't think about it. They just do, do it. But you're not even watching. You're yeah. just like doing it. <laughs> She's just gets them all away. There she goes. Everything. <laughs> love it. I love having a huge gem. Have you got your cake? Yes, I got my not cake. Not had time to eat it yet, but you've got it. No. Yes, all right. I've got I'll it. stop asking you questions, then you can eat your cake. <laughs> So, for a full strand of a gem, you could make a floral design with it. I mean, you could try and make that flower. I don't know how easy that would be. Would it be easy to make that sort of bird shape with the... Oh, it's gone now. Sorry. Yeah, you would make a, make a frame, like a wire frame, and then thread with a finer wire across, thread the gemstones and then weave it across. I mean, that might be quite amazing. Yeah. Because those, those flowers, I was talking about it the other day, they're really expensive, those flowers. Just to get one of them, I got one cent. It was £45 just for one flower. Mm. And yeah, it's awesome, but flowers don't that last, last that long, especially in my house. I got plants that my mum got me. They're supposed to live forever. They're, they don't look that happy right now. And nine ninety five. <laughs> well, I do water them, but the mud seems to have disappeared in them. I don't know where it's gone. Like the bulb sort of sticking out. <laughs> not quite working the way it's supposed to. I thought it was supposed to be easy, a house plan. <laughs> anyway, um, they're still surviving just mum, don't worry. 9.95. I want to try and make a bird of paradise with this. It's not going to look very good. It'll probably end up in the whoops of fame, but I'm going to give it a go. It's worth a try. It is worth a try. 9.95. I will leave those with you. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Beautiful. I'm going to bring you some cashew pearls actually, but I need to show you one of my other star buys. This is coming up. What do you think of my combination? All the look of Sleeping Beauty turquoise with aquamarine. Good combo. That is stunning. Stunning combo. Mm. Is that turquoise? Turquoise. Is it? It's sleep. It's all the look of a sleepy, be sleeping beauty turquoise. So you don't see the black matrix in it, and you don't see the normal sort of veins that you get. There's one mine in Arizona and America that mines sleeping beauty turquoise. It's beautiful, and um, this has got all of the colour, all of the beauty, all of the quality that you'd expect. We've got a, a collection on our sister channel called Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, and it was one of the biggest and top selling um, uh, collections that we've had this year. It's massive. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I've never seen that before. Quite nice, because I know some people, some people, of course, uh, and like myself, you love the matrix in it, you love those sort of natural mm -hmm. veins that you get within it, the black, but sometimes it makes it difficult to match with other stones if you've got yeah. a sort of black vein in it. Whereas the Sleeping Beauty variety, that colour that you get from that one mine um, in Arizona is just outstanding. And this coming up, and we thought we'd put it with aquamarine for Danny's mum, because that's Danny's mum's favourite favorite gem. Mm -hmm. Right, Keshi, oh, now the reason actually I picked these up is because I thought they would go with the Keshi Pearls possibly as well. I've never put aquamarine with Keshi Pearls before, but because there was a sort of slight hint of, of blue, bluey silver to them, I wasn't sure if they would work well together. Oh, they're lovely. Would they work nice? Yeah, they would. They would. Are, they, are those um, cubes? You've got that. They're rondels. Are they? They're, well, they're round, but they're not faceted. Quite angular. Yeah, well, actually, they are. They're step faceted. Mm. So they're facets with sort of lines down them as opposed to like the wee triangular facet shapes. I think the cut works well with the organicness of the pearls. Mm, just a wee idea. Or you could wear it with the pearls that are coming up. The pearls are your superstar buy. The zircon would go with it as well which is coming up as your star buy in this hour. It's the ultimate star buy. You're going to want to get every single one of these zircons. I don't have that many. I've not got like hundreds of them. I've not got two or three hundred of them. I might have one hundred if I'm lucky. Gorgeous. Oh, I might even be allowed to have 164. <laughs> but that's all there are in the building. So, Keshi Pearls, the lovely sort of silvery soft, slight hint of lilacs in them. You have the dreamiest green orient and purples and lilacs in there. Oh, and then a different light, look a bit more white, don't they? White and baby blue. Now it says it's light blue. Well, let me show you blue. I would say that was a light blue. 
and you can decide what you think. I think they're more of a silvery lilac mm. than a blue. I think sometimes we maybe, yeah, we maybe go too far. I wouldn't go as far as calling it blue because no. blue for me is, well, that aquamarine is a baby blue. And can you see it's more, would you, what would you say, Gemma? I'd say it's more of a sort of lilac-y silver. I would have said lilac Silvery lilac. Yeah, I would have definitely said, you know, more silver than, yeah. And it's a cooler tone, so it would go with your blues, but I think definitely. it's more lilac-y. Yeah. Yep. Changing the name of it, it's not blue anymore. It's sort of silvery, but it will work with, basically with the Orient, it tends to pick up the gem that it's next to anyway. So if you do have a blue gemstone, it's gonna work, pick up more of the sort of blues yeah. in the Orient. It's got the lilacs in there, it's got the greens in there. It's all going on. I really like these and sort of, um, because of where they're drilled, they're sort of top drilled, I, I, I think it's quite nice to put it in like a little flower shape. Yeah, that would, would work, that nice work? It would, and there's a lady's just done a tiara, flowers, lots of flowers made with Keshi Keshi pearls, pearls. And, it, and it looked beautiful. She did just a big cluster of flowers, really Oh, lovely. that sounds stunning. So they're eight by seven millimeter, graduated all the way up to 13 by six millimeter, giving you that dreamy, dreamy pearl finish. Now, how much would you expect for a pearl? genuine pearls, thinking about how much they'll be able to go with, whether you make them in floral designs, whether you put them into tiaras, whether you put them with necklaces, earrings. And what's lovely about these with earrings as well, you can have quite a lot clustered together, but they're not too heavy. There's not much weight to them. No, that's right. So if you like big, big look earrings and big cluster looks, but you don't want sort of heavy weight in your earrings, then pearls are a great way to go, especially with the cashew pearls and top drilled. Well, mm. I think, do you think so too? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, and again, I would crochet with those as well. Crochet, there we go. Yeah. We need this crochet tool. Um, 0800 644 655, call me as soon as you can on anything you see that you like. The price on these is not 19.95, but 9.95. For those of you on the lines, it's lovely to see you. 0800, uh, 0800 644 655 is a free phone number, 0800 um, 655. You can join me on that number or you can join me alternatively on the web, gymporia.com. Great to see you coming through and thank you for showing an interest. I'm oh, sorry, jewelrymaker.com, Gymporia is our sister channel but you won't find us on that website. We're not lying on that one. We've got our own. Um, Jillydemaker.com, sorry. And at 9.95, you want to join those in lines already, do press your button one so we can talk to you regarding it. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. It would go beautifully with your Keshi, uh, sorry, as your Keshi pearls with your Zircon, which is your star buy of this hour, your big, big, big star buy. And your pearls as well. Or if you want me to put it with some Peridot, now these peridot are dreamy as you like. How pretty are these? Aren't they gorgeous? Greens and silvers. Maybe you got the peridot earlier with Jenny. Maybe you missed it. Maybe it wasn't the right shape for what you were after. Only 12. Oh. Over 30 were allocated the last time I brought them to you and I've only got 12 tonight. It's never enough. Never, never enough. Oh, there's so many in this strand. You can't even put them all flat or straight because there's so many, they're jumping everywhere. Oh, juicy limes, lime-esque. Do you know what it makes me think of? And I don't even, I don't really have them. I've never really had one, but I've, I've seen them being made. Mojitos. Did you have mojitos last night, Danny? Did you really? I thought they were joking. You really had alcohol last night. <gasps> I love mojitos. Do you? Mm, Would you say that's that like a mojito colour or no? Yeah, Am yeah, I off, yeah it's off minty, there? minty fresh. Minty fresh. Are there limes and mojitos? Yeah. There are? Yeah. See, I always think this, for me, epitomises a like, sort of lime. I've called it lime-esque. Yeah. So it's ever it's imagine you're in the hottest day ever. You're on a beach and it's boiling hot, and you just want a perfect drink to quench your thirst. And then all of a sudden, this fresh, freezing cold lime comes out of the fridge, and you slice it, and this juicy lime goes into your nice fizzy water. And then all of a sudden, you get the juiciest lime esque. That for me is peridot. I just think it's it's amazing. 
Do we only buy peridot with it? Um, you can get peridot with a golden undertone and you can get it with a brown sort of overtone. Now, we don't buy anything with a brown overtone. We only buy golden undertone, which means you can get that glow from within. So it's not just green. It's got that little tiny, tiny hint of a sort of natural golden glow through it, which makes it that sort of perfect lime mess. We had 12... I've got nine, I've got Zena, I've got Elizabeth, Karen, I've got Deborah, Jill, all showing an interest, Lancashire showing an interest, Merseyside showing an interest. And with nine spaces, oh no, I'm not gonna have enough. Surrey's there, Lancashire's less than nine there. I've got six, ah! Merseyside, you're then Manchester, check it out as soon as you can. This is a jam-packed strand for 14.95. There's no space where you could put another peridot. Every single one of them is drilled, every single one top drilled, faceted for you. And the prettiest shape, and the design that I saw, I saw the other day actually, where is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's up the top. It's, um, it's a one made by, whoa. Why has it gone out? Janet Dwyer, it went out of my head. And it's like a, I always think it looks like a Venetian mask, but it's using these top drilled faceted stones. It was actually from Matrix Box, and it's in a wee... Scott, can I have you... What are you munching? Cookie? Uh, yeah, he's sitting there chilling out with his pad eye yeah. and a little bit of a cookie. Could you pass me that, please? The second one from the top. Thank you. This is the one now, because I know a lot of people look at it and think, Ali, what am I meant to do with all these briolettes? And I remember I asked Janet what she would have done, and she put them in that design. And it's quite, it's quite different. It's not something I would have thought of, because I would have thought, oh, they're quite, quite dainty. But of course, if you sort of twist them together, and you can see how to make this. It's on um, the Jewelry Maker YouTube channel page. YouTube page, channel, you know what I mean. Have a look on there. It, there's 10 I've gone, and I've got like two, four, six, seven of you on the web. So good luck to you. I hope you get it. I'm going to have to leave that with you there. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to put that down. Andalusite and garnets. We're not doing it now, are we? <gasps> these are brand new, these garnets. Now, I had a garnet star by for you the other night. Wait till you see this. A full strand. They're like little berries. Like little, little, almost just slightly bigger than your seed beads. Let, you, let me show you these. Brand new. You are the first to see it. How much do you love these? And if you got the Garnet Star Buy, the Super Star Buy with me on Friday night, they were little pear drops to go with it. How perfect would this strand be? Really, really long in length um, for your genuine garnets. 30 carats of garnets, 2 millimeter round, 30 centimeter strand. Only 24 in this bundle, that's all we have to offer. Oh yeah, um, you get two strands here actually. Even though the price is what you would expect to pay for one. This is brand new, only arrived today. The juiciest berries, the juiciest two mil, 30 centimeter strand, and as well as that, I'm, oh. It's 7 by 5 mil to 13 by 10 mil. Is this Govea Angelusite? It has to be. From Brazil. Angelusite was only ever really known to be from Angelusia in Spain. And then um, not so long ago. Where does it say it's from? Bear in mind, some of the times it's just where we buy it from as opposed to its actual location as to where it was mined. But this is, this is reminiscent of your Govea Angelusite. Govea in Brazil. They've only, we only just started buying it from uh, our sister channel. Only just started buying it. It's from Brazil. It's Govea. It must be. Because the only other location is Angelusia in Spain that's been mined. And the Angelusian, um, Angelusite from, from Spain, or obviously Angelusia, has more of a red to it. Whereas the Govea Angelusite has more of a, of a gold to it. It's, it's an amazing stone. And when you get yourself... Um, Angelusite, it's a gemstone, probably one of the most pleochroic gemstones out there. And with Angelusite, when you facet it, it's usually faceted to show all of that pleochroism at once. Now, I don't know any other gemstone that's faceted like that other than sphalerite. It's an outs, and you might not have even heard of sphalerite. I don't think we've ever, we will probably never ever have it in our lifetime on Jewelry Maker. Um, yeah, 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 we're going to go to the price point where you would expect one of them. Sorry? Yeah, and the site should be what? £14.95 on its own. So including the garnet, we should be over £20. 
too though. It's a brand new garnet strand. Should be six ninety five in my eyes. Danny says C nineteen ninety. I don't agree with him, but that's what he says. That's my producer Danny, by the way. <gasps> what are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna get them both for fourteen ninety. Angela said it's only ever been fourteen ninety five and I have a brand new garnet strand and now it's almost like you've taken off the price of the garnet strand. Is that for both? That's for both. But the, the Angela said it's only ever been fourteen ninety five. Wow. Have you worked much with them, um, producer Danny, Gemma? No, not much. No, not much. <laughs> Once. Yeah. I don't think anyone has any idea of what sort of madness Danny is uh, capable of, even yeah. including Danny. You're taking me shopping. You're going to take me shopping. Oh, gosh. This is because I, I took Danny shopping the other week because I, I could not believe the prices. He was taking everything to I thought, he's obviously never been to the shop. You can't buy Angela's site in the high street. You just can't. It's not a matter of him saying it will be difficult. I have never ever seen Angela's site in a high street ever, other than a piece that's been bought from her sister channel and then sold on on the internet. It's the only time I've seen it. I've never worked with it. Never even worked no, with it? No. It's a gorgeous gemstone. Do you want to have a look at it? I wouldn't mind. Let me show it to you because it's so special. When you have a, a play with it, you'll get to see the most gorgeous explosion of different colours coming through. Usually it's faceted, but to get that, I've never seen them of that size ever. I've never seen an Angelusite that big. But that's our new Govean Angelusite from Brazil, which gives you more of a sort of golden, bronzy copper, where it's with your tiger's eye, your bronzite. Is it got copper inclusions? Is that what it is, or is that just? I, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not one, I'll have to check. I have to looks... check from the Brazilian variety. It's fantastic. But the inclusions in it and the pleochrosum in it is out, out of this world. That's gorgeous. Do you like it? Yeah, I do, very much. So that on its own is normally fourteen ninety, And I reckon it should still be that price, but I think because a lot of people haven't been able to see it in the high street, are you going to keep it there? <laughs> do, you want to, do you want it back? <laughs> do I want it back? Do I want it back, Danny? Yeah. No. Oh. I tried, Jim, I tried. He's like, we've only got a few left, come on. It is Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day, Danny, yes. <laughs> Be nice. Oh, can I show you this one? Oh. <laughs> they are magnificent. But yeah, only just recently have we managed to get it from Govea in Brazil. It's only ever been really um, bought and sort of mined in Andalusia in Spain, which has more of the reds to it. This gives you more of the sort of goldens. Golden brown, all right. Singing away in there. They are really, that's the biggest I've seen. And it would go gorgeously with Sunstone, actually, which we've got coming up. And not to forget, we have a brand new strand of juicy red garnets we're basically giving away. Brand new, yet given away. Pauline Anonymous, Elizabeth Anonymous, Philip Isle, you're in there, Denise. Not long until your Zircon. Please do not forget, it is coming up. We cannot wait for this. The antique diamond, we've decided to call it with Gemma, or Gemma's decided to call it. I'm all for that. I'm with her there. Yes. Um, are we going to do the Starbuck or are we going to do the Sunstone? We'll do the Sunstone after the Starbuck. How about that? to go together for it. If everyone checks out in the web, this is sold out, so I'm going to move on, because I don't want you to think you can get one and then you can't, so Sun I'm going to move on. Sunstone in with that would be amazing. Shall I show it you quickly? Yeah. Now we've got two, which one? What number? Yeah. <gasps> and the shapes match and everything. And you've got your copper inclusions and your sunstones, so... That's it. That's a cracking combination. Cracking combination, not just good, cracking. Cracking, yeah. I did tell you we're gonna have, a, we have a cracking night tonight. Oh yeah, together, forever. So that's coming up, we got 24 of those. All right, <laughs> start by intro, no! All right, start by. <laughs> This gemstone is magnificent. You may have heard of it, you may not. Don't worry if you haven't. It's one of the oldest gemstones in the planet. Many people have thought, of course, the world was, what, 2.3 billion years old? 
they then found this gemstone and they realised that the Earth had to be older than they, they originally first believed and realised it was up to 4.5 billion years old and it was all thanks to this gemstone. This gemstone rewrote history and your machine had to be invented so you were able to find it now, uh, to find out sorry, how old it was. This gemstone is magnificent and so many people unfortunately confuse it with a gemstone that's in the high street which is such a shame because this gemstone is magnificent. It's called zircon um, after the, the Greek word for zakron because the first variety found was red so that was it, the, the Greek word for red. What you are seeing here is a gemstone that for me is better than a diamond in many, many ways. Diamonds are magnificent, but diamonds are very commercialised and everybody knows about them. If everybody knew about zircon, the same amount of people who knew about zircon or, or diamonds knew about zircon, all the world's zircon would be sold out within a year. That's how limited zircon is. It's very, very limited. Now, why is it better than a diamond? This is just my own personal opinion, but sorry, patting my microphone. Have you ever seen white light going into a gemstone before and then the gemstone bursting out into its spectral colours? That's what happens with the diamond. So what will happen if it's a perfect shaped diamond, the light will go in and it will reflect through the fact, if, fa if it's been faceted well, and it will return. In fact, let me draw that for you. We were going to see if we had a wee picture, but because we don't, so I'll draw it. So going to be as good as I can but I'm not very oh I just ripped the paper so I'm not very good at drawing nine have already been allocated I'll just show you my bracelet so you can see what exactly it is <gasps> oh well there you go so I'm gonna very badly draw shape of a diamond now these are brand new and we've only got about 160 odd to offer and that's it so, not even close. All right. It's flying out the door. What I'm currently doing is trying to show you trying to show you, without the facets obviously, what happens when your light goes into your gemstone, when it, with a di this is a diamond, which is singly refractive, your white light goes in, hits off your crown angle, goes in, depending on how it's been faceted, will bounce around, but usually go along here, go along and then come out. So if I just draw that in here, goes in, hits off the angle, faceted correctly, bounces along, and then comes out and breaks into its spectral colours. So can you see that? It'll go in, it'll bounce down, it'll go along the gemstone and then bounce back in your reds, oranges, greens, yellows and your blues, your, all your colours of your, your rainbow. But that's a diamond, which is singly refractive. So what's, well, I didn't put it in order, it's just the order I thought of the rainbow. I'm trying to draw a diamond, I can't even draw, bear in mind I wasn't even thinking about the order of my colours. Alright, come in, where, where was the picture actually Tom, that you were going to find? Yeah, exactly. Leave me be. I'm trying. So, that is what a diamond does. But a zircon is doubly refractive and is bifringent. So, what does a zircon do? It does exactly what a diamond does, but twice. So, all the time you see it with one. Now, this is a bit messy because I'm left handed and I smudge myself. But, can you see? that it'll split twice. Maybe not necessarily there, maybe somewhere else, but it'll split, go along, and then maybe go down and along, bounce up, so it'll come out, so you get double the amount of spectral colours you would once with a diamond, you get it twice with a zircon. So it's doubly refractive, it's bifringent. But what does that also mean? Does it mean that when the light goes into the gemstone and returns and you get brilliance, that you get double the amount of brilliance? Well, you've got double the amount of return of light, so of course you are. It's an amazing gem, it's a very, very refractive stone. It's 1.7 um, your refractive index. It's only surpassed by your corundum family and your diamonds when it comes to the Mohs hardness scale. So it's right up there when it comes to being faceted. It's an incredibly strong gem, which you can use a hard facet on, therefore get a vitreous luster. So I'm looking at this thinking, why is a diamond more popular than a zircon? Commercially wise, because everybody talks about it. Everybody goes on about 
zircon, everybody goes, sorry, everybody goes on about diamonds, everybody goes, every jeweler has a diamond, but not every jeweler can have a zircon and that's the difference. Zircons, they're not enough to go around the world. There aren't. You're not going to get a diamond of this quality for under £30 in a strand with us or anywhere, are you? No. You, you, we just can't. And it's probably to do with the way diamonds have been commercialised. Zircon, on the other hand, hasn't. It's one of the best kept secrets in the, di in the gem industry. Probably because one, everybody knows that it's not, it's not going to be around for that long in that it's, there's not enough. There's just not enough in the world based on the fact that everything that's been mined to this day at this moment in time, as I say, if everybody knew worldwide and it was as commercially renowned as a diamond, we wouldn't have enough to cover the world for a year, for one year. That is why nobody is really commercialising Zircon because they know there's not enough to go around. There just isn't. But you can get the fire, you can get the... But what do you love a diamond for? The way it sparkles, all the colours that come out of it, the fire that it has, the clarity, everything that you're seeing there, and you're seeing it in a studio light. Now, I've already got... How many allocated? 40 have gone, and there are only 160-odd. 100 and... What, sorry? But how many did we start with? So 165 is what we originally had. I'm closing to 100 just now. If everybody checks out on the web, I'm going to have less than 100. I've not even slightly brought your price in, but that tells you that everybody who's on that line just now not only either has heard of Zircon, understands Zircon, has maybe never seen it of this quality before, because the day that when I arrived today, I didn't expect it to be this good, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think it was going to be, I thought it was maybe going to be a sort of golden zircon or a brown zircon, which I like, but it's very, very difficult to describe as close to a diamond because it wasn't the white variety. It's the first time I've had the white variety like this. Gemma, do you, you mean you're calling it sort of antique bronze? Antique, uh, antique diamond, sorry, I'm looking, looking yeah. at you working with the antique bronze wire actually, that's what that was. Yeah, but it, it is very diamond-like, I mean it's... Well, it's got all the, the majority yeah. of positive properties that you would look for in a diamond, you have in a zircon. Yeah. But you don't need to go to the bother with the GIE, getting it clarity, flaw, graded. Yeah. You don't need to worry about any of that, but you get everything in a diamond. So if you're making sort of bridal tiaras, if you, I mean, two have already just gone to Rosin, in count, Rosin I hope I said that right, in County Down. You've, Rasheen, sorry. Rasheen, Danny's like, it's my favourite name, that's why I know it. Rasheen, okay. Rasheen, congratulations, you've got yours. Quite a lot of multi bids because everybody knows that with this strand, it's an 18 centimetre strand. Obviously, I've got, um, got it uh, into parts. I wasn't supposed to have this as a star buy. It's brand new strand. It was supposed to be a super star buy, but we've also got pearls and a, a stone and a strand that I haven't even shown to you yet, which is dreamy. But... Um, yeah, my executive producer Martha wasn't meant to be in today. I hear she came in with some cakes, but aside from that, wasn't meant to be in at all. My channel manager is off to Thailand, so won't see her for ten days, and my boss is off to the North Pole. I mean, I don't think we could get further away. We're sending. The, well, he's actually going in his own accord, but he's off to the North Pole. So, how am I likely to get caught? It means I'm not going to have it at £50, which it should be, for all the properties that it's got. There, for me, there are no negatives to Zircon. The fact that hardly anyone knows about it is even better. It's nice. It's nice to be able to tell a story, isn't it? Yeah. So you're teaching somebody something as well as, as, well as you know, having something beautiful like that. Absolutely. You've got something to say. So when somebody said, oh, what's that? You can explain. And go, go, and, go and tell me it's natural, why don't you? Two have gone to Anonymous in the West Midlands. Margaret's got two in the way in Worcestershire. Multi bids are going like no tomorrow on this. It's an 18 centimetre strand, which is slightly graduated again from three by two mil all the way up to four by two millimeter. Slight heat mint to it. Now, if you think about it, sapphires, 95% of the world's sapphires are heated or treated in one way or another. Treatment is something that happens to pretty much every gemstone in the world out there. Nothing bad about it, but I always like to find out. You can find out about all the treatments on jewelrymaker.com, but it's not been coated to give it that fire. It's not been um, treated in a way where you're adding colour to it. Heating is simply, if anything, heating off other colour, if that makes sense, to make it pure white. You've got clarity, you've got fire, you've got brilliance. I don't know if I'm ready to show you this price. 
How much of my stock have I got left? Less than a hundred. Well done to each and every single one of you. A third of my stock is already gone. I've not even got the price in. If everyone on the web checks it out, then I'm even I'm getting close to 19.95. I bet you thought this was going to be up at what? 49 pounds, 39 pounds, 29 pounds. No. We're giving it away. Um, it's an amazing amazing stone. You get the full strand. But we'd already had what a third of my stock allocated, the price wasn't even slightly in. The only reason I'm putting the price in is for those of you who are on the phone lines or on the web, who are having a think about it and you're thinking, oh, I'm really interested, I'll wait till I see the price of it. For that price point, think about the price you can command on your jewellery. If people can command £300 for synthetic stones in a tiara, think how much you can command for natural, genuine gems that are rare, that are collectible, that are amazing. Sorry, I'm saying natural, slight heating to it, but it's naturally white it's just amazing oh the fire can you see that can you see the way the light's going it's not even a natural daylight you're seeing this burst magdalene's in kathleen's in claire's in and verness gail cheryl anonymous find your phone as soon as you can Gemma, are you in love with zircon as much as i am oh yeah definitely it's definitely something i'll use in because i've not used it before had in, you not not in my own designs no but definitely looking at that that's a a suite there, a bridal suite, I think, and I think that is, you know, easily upwards of a hundred pounds if you use your sterling silver with it, just for those that pair. So I'd definitely be using it. Definitely, I just think it's one that we've offered in browns, we've offered in sort of goldens, but we've never really ha had the white. Um, yes, it was Malcolm in London. Malcolm in London's just sent a nice message. Could you tell? I could never have done this. Um, nice face, Ali. Was it made by Gemma? Yes. It was absolutely made by Gemma, as was the necklace I'm wearing. And she knocked it up in, what, seven or eight minutes? Yeah. I think that's amazing. <laughs> this would take me like a whole afternoon no, to get it right. Very simple. Seven or eight minutes. Danny, producer Danny, fell up the stairs today when he was looking at... What, what we normally have is he comes downstairs picks up all the, the, the strands, we'll call this a strand, and has a look at what we've got of the new ends. I would have told you about this, like I told you about the sapphires on Friday night, or I told you about the matrix box. If we'd known it was coming up today, we would have given you a heads up. Danny tripped up the stairs looking at it today, as he normally looks at what, what we've got coming up as he goes up the stairs. He couldn't simply wait, he fell up the stairs when he was looking at it. Mesmerizing. And if you think about it, if you're getting all that sparkle from a genuine gem, why pay more for a fake one? I don't understand the logic in it. No, no me. Because maybe, I understand if you don't know what the gemstone is about, and if you haven't seen it before, and you've never tried it, if you want to hear more about this gemstone, if you need to find out more about it to help you sell it to your, um, at your craft fairs or to help sell it with your jewellery and with your customers, ask me, all right? My, my email is a, um, is a is ali, so A-L-I at tggc.com, so tggc.com. Email me and I will give you as much information on zircon as I can, uh, especially white zircon, to help you because we're here to help. I don't want to just give you a strand, tell you how incredibly rare it is and special it is, and then not help you with it. If you have any questions about any gemstones and especially about designs, message in and ask Gemma. And if Gemma's not with us, um, whenever you send the message to me, I can forward it on to Gemma or I can make sure she gets uh, gets the message. Gemma, have you got a particular email that um, that you want to give out? or is it something um, that I'll just pass on for you? On my Jewelry Maker Facebook page. On your Jewelry Maker yeah. Facebook page. So it's Gemma Crow, um, guest designer Gemma, Gemma Crow. Crow. Guest designer Gemma Crow. Yeah. Easy to remember. What yeah. we like. I can't even remember my own name half the time. Guest designer Gemma Crow. On Gemma's Facebook page, you can drop her a wee message, ask her how to make it at 19.95. What was that, sorry? 1,462 likes our Gemma has on Facebook. It's not as many as Mark. I'm in competition with Mark. Not as many as Mark. Are you in competition with Mark? Yeah, yeah. I've decided I am. He doesn't know I am yet. Oh, he doesn't know no. I am. You've just decided. He's got over 2,000. He's got over 2,000? Yeah. Who's a from 100? 
Who's, oh, we're, oh gosh, nearly 100's gone, sorry, I'm seven away from the 100. I was like, I'm seven away from what? I, th I thought you were still talking about Facebook numbers there. Um, almost 100 have gone. If everybody in the web checks out, over 100 have gone, so I will warn you of that. Margaret, Denise, Kate, uh, Anonymous, Teresa, Gillian, sorry if I haven't read out your name, there's lots and lots of you there. Rosanne, you've got yours in North uh, Bucking, uh, was it North Bucking? You, no, you, North Yorkshire, my apologies. Worcestershire, well done to you. So at 1995, you've got yourself a collectible gem. Text me your questions if you've got any. If you've already got one, drop me in a message, julianmaker.com. Do it just now or text me, 60777, JM Studio at the start. Your normal text messages uh, charges will apply. If you've got any questions for Gemma, maybe you want to know how she made it, or maybe you're thinking um, you want to work out, uh, ask a question about anything that Gemma does with her sort of different mediums, ask her, please, please do. Send us in a wee message. That's why we've got Gemma with us tonight. Well, it's not the only reason, because I want to hang out with her, because I think she's so cool. <laughs> but um, also, we want to, if you want, <laughs> she's the best. Um, you're the best. Um, oh, don't tell Mark Smith that, though. No. Could you imagine? I'm joking. <laughs> We love hanging out with Gemma, and I'm going to get to go to a Gemma workshop. Oh, yeah. oh yes, We're yes. On the mesh one. I'm planning. No, I want to go to a wirework one, oh. and then well, I do want to go to a mesh one, but I want to go to a wirework one first. Yeah. Is that is that a better idea? Or we want better going to the wirework one first, uh, mm. the mesh one first. It's up to you. They don't follow on. Or... What, is it easier to do one and then do the other after, or are they totally different anyway? Totally different. Totally different. Yeah. I'm all excited. I spent all my birthday money on, well, a new toilet, and, um, <laughs> and I know, my, my money literally went down the pan. <laughs> I had to buy a new toilet. How crap is that? That's exactly what oh. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I could go on forever. No, seriously, it had a, it was like a fracture crack when it was made. But it's a spare one, so I, I don't use it that often, but I had lots of people around, and I was like, why is my bathroom flooded now? So I had to get a new toilet. So my, half of my birthday went to that, my birthday money, and the other half went to workshops. I so um, on a few. So I'm doing a couple of extra shifts this month, so then I can go to more workshops this month. <laughs> Exciting. Um, now, just to check with the threading material, was it just um, was it just normal beading thread that you yeah, used? Yeah, just so beading So just beading thread. thread that you would have in a kit? Yeah, and a general findings pack. So there's nothing special in terms of threading or packs or um, findings. Just... Just Very whatever simple. whatever clasp stash you've got yeah. left behind. Yeah. And this was from the stash, the jewelry maker stash anyway, wasn't it? It wasn't from your own stash. Was it from your own stash? No. It's no. no, just in our workshop. Just from stash from the workshop. So you probably got clasps set aside maybe that you thought, oh gosh, I've, I've made all the bracelets and necklaces I was going to make. And you've got some stash. Because you've simply used one some beading thread, mm -hmm. two crimp covers, Yeah. two crimps, yeah. A toggle clasp, mm -hmm. or three pearls which are coming up later in a pearl strand, and then two beads. Two yeah. are they crimps or are they? No, they're spacer beads. They're so two spacer they're beads. Spacer beads, yeah. So there's not exactly many findings anyway. Even if you have got findings at home, you think, oh gosh, will I use all my findings making just one bracelet? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's hardly much. anything. Not much at all. It won't even put a dent in your finding stash, really. Well, there you go. If that doesn't make you treat yourself, at 1995, we've got how many left? Nearly, I've got, oh, they're going. If everyone in the web checks out, I think I've got about 30 left from 165. We didn't count the number down on the screen because it's going a bit do lally these days. The other day it said I had 13, then it went up to 16, and the numbers never usually go up, so I don't know what was going on. <laughs> it went, did you just fall off your chair, Danny? They just chest. What do you what do you call that? Chest pumped. <laughs> Have you heard of that before, Gemma? No. Nope. I think he's still on the mahi. He's going to show us. <laughs> Are you going to do it with Scott then? Scott has no choice in this. Do you know what a chest pump is? Oh, chest. He's like, no. I don't know what this is. I'm not doing it with you. I don't think Gemma Cole wants to do it with you. All right then, you yeah. can do your chest pump. Scott doesn't really want to do it on live. He's like, I don't really want to do this on live TV. He doesn't have a choice. Can Three, I move it? One. There we go. So. Yeah, I don't think that's something we should try. Yeah, no, I'd rather not try that. <laughs> Did she not just high five? Say, yeah. He's got excited because he got know. over 100 for allocated time. There we go. Easy. We Easy. Dance it's got our dancing days are the over. happy dancing days are yeah, over. <laughs> At 1995. I've got that sunstone for you as well, haven't I? 
We'll leave it there. And we go oh, with the sunstone actually and those rose gold sort of finished findings. That worked quite nice. It does. That's it the does. thing with this, this white white gemstones seem to work with anything. Anything. But, but I think the the rose gold works particularly well with the with the zircon and I think obviously because the copper inclusions it works perfectly with sunstone as well. So we we're thinking get yourself find some copper findings. Haha <laughs> fine. We don't have any copper findings in the rose gold tonight otherwise I would offer them to you. We've only got 12 of the sunstone. You can keep calling for the zircon you must check it out though because we put all 160 on. We did. Oh yeah I'll be bringing you these pearls later. Oh yeah. We might bring the zircon back, might we? Oh, there's a message there for you. <laughs> Producer Danny has now decided that he wants to send messages into the studio. <laughs> Bridge Emma Crow. <laughs> Hey, is it? Looking forward to going. If Danny wants everybody to home to know, did you know this, Gemma? Our producer Danny's going to a wire work workshop. Is it? You can But anyone mind. who hasn't booked in this wire work workshop, Danny wants to meet you. He's going to the wire work workshop on the 6th of May. What is he like? He's so. Is it April or May? Is it my workshop? May. No, I think it's a beginner's one. Yeah, he's not advanced to yours yet, Gemma. You don't want him there, to be honest. I, mean, yeah. I feel sorry for the Louise Jacobson, in all honesty. I do a different, a different wire work workshop. It's, oh. it's not, it doesn't, you don't need to be at any particular level. It's don't need to be at a particular level. So I'm going to go to Gemma's wire work workshop then. <laughs> what do you mean I'm at a lower level? You're so mean, so mean in there. Can I just say, my mum loved the earrings and bracelet I made her for Mother's Day. There you go. Well, she said she did. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 10 of these available. It's jam packed. When's your next wire work workshop? Do you know, I don't I'm know. I'm putting you on the spot, aren't I? It's on jewelrymaker.com yeah. on the website. Have a look on there. It tells you all the workshops that are coming up for the next couple of months. It goes up to June, I think. I don't think June's penciled in yet. 15th, 16th of April. 16th of April, that's there, Gemma. Like, yeah, that sounds about right. I think it's. Um, Structured. structured structured wire it is yeah and very vintage is on the 15th yes that's right I got a few in a row again <gasps> oh exciting times and you've got your mesh um show as well on the 10th, 10th. of april mm -hmm. gosh you're gonna have a busy week aren't you yeah i was here four days in a row last week i think four <laughs> days in a row gosh i need to move you in yeah right sorry 10 space is 14.95 but seeing as danny just did a what he calls as a chest pump. I don't think that's actually what it's called, is it really? Apparently it is. He's not gonna mesh about. He thinks this is hilarious, Gemma. He's trying to get me to say it. And the worst thing is I actually do. I see meshing about. He's not messing about. Elizabeth's got two in Essex. I've already got Pauline with hers. Valerie, you've got yours. I've got nine left to 11.95. He's off on one tonight. You thought he was bad on Friday and Saturday. I think tonight, I think he's trying to impress our Gemma. It's those That's without his lemon cake. What was that, sorry? I think it's still the influence of the mojitos, do you think? That maybe he's still yeah. under the influence of mojitos. He's not started on his lemon drizzle cake yet which I was saving for tomorrow, but then I found out it was a Madeira cake that was eaten that was, um, I had nothing to do with that one actually, um, that was eaten. So, um, so yeah. With five spaces. I've got Essex there, Yorkshire there, Greater Manchester, join me on a free phone number. I haven't really spoken about this much and I do feel, tor uh, do feel terrible about that. Um, I've just been enjoying it, to be honest, it's a bit naughty. And then if you did get the, the, the bundle with the angelusite, the Gauvet angelusite, it's gorgeous. I've got four star buys in the next round. Oh, what was I thinking? In the next 40, oh gosh, it's quarter past already. In 15 minutes, I have your first double star buy, which is going to be, is it the rose, and oh, what's next? Is it the turquoise? I completely changed the schedule today. I was like, oh Danny, can we not just do this? Yeah, you did have a list. Sorry, Scott. Sorry, Tom. But would you not put those together if you could? Of course you would. 
See, you, the bundles sold out. There weren't enough. This was supposed to be your star buy, but I only had 24. So I thought, that's not very fair. They're going to sell out, and then, then I'll feel bad. So I bundled these two together for your star buy in 15 minutes. If you miss it, there's nothing I can do in 15 minutes' time. I'll see you after this short break. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. I have got lots and lots coming up for you tonight. If you've just tuned in, we have high-end trend for you now. Oh, yes, lots of high-end um, strands, lots of treats for us. I have to show you this very quickly. It's coming up in one of my later hours for you. As a star buy. Oh, my tools are falling out. Both my tools are falling out. You're getting yourself a gem setter toolkit. You're also going to get two separate... Oh, coming out. Two separate ring mounts. I think I might turn this round the other way and then they won't fall out. Two separate ring mounts are coming up as well to go with your toolkit. So it's for setting your own genuine gemstones. And many of you know on our sister channel, gemporia.com, um, one of my dearest friends who will be on tomorrow actually, Matt McNamara, he uh, offers loose gemstones on the website on Gem Collector. So you can get your loose gemstones, you can make your own um, settings and you can put it together and make your own rings and make your own pieces easily, they tell me. I haven't made one yet, but I'm excited to see. I know there was one particular lady, and please forgive me because I forget your name, um, I saw on Facebook, you made a beautiful emerald ring with sort of claws, prong, four prong setting. It was stunning. I don't know if you saw it, Gemma, on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page. And it was gorgeous. Just a simple emerald set and a, a sort of wire wrapped ring. It was lovely. I bet I know who it was, though. So what, sorry? I bet it was Michelle Ney, though, was it, Michelle? It might have been because she's, I mean, she's amazing. Michelle sent me a gift the other day. <gasps> she sent me two emeralds and two sapphires, blue sapphires, to, to make my own rings. And like, so, and they're going to have to be claw set, so I'm going to have to look into it. Well, I have got two mounts, so it's the rings already made with the mount already, so all you need to do is put the gem in and fold the prongs over. Ooh. They'll be coming up with it. So, I'll show you them in a bit. I don't have them with me right now, but when I have them, I will show you. So that'll give you an idea how lovely. I know. It's a lucky cool. lady. Lovely thing. I know. I'm so grateful. It's really lovely. Awesome. Um, I can't wait to see what you make. Yeah. I have a competition for you to win a bead scoop. Can you guess whose mum's who? Text in um, with JM Studio. 6077 and then we're going to show you four numbers and you need to match the number with the person. So unfortunately I feel really bad now because we've not got a picture of Gemma's mum 
Only because, um, Gemma, we did it yesterday. We put it together yesterday. So I do forgive. Otherwise, all right. we would have got a picture of your mum. I feel really bad now. That's all right. I look so much like my mum. It wouldn't be any sort of competition. Do you? Do anyway. you look really like your mum? Have you got a picture of your mum on your phone? We can show everyone later. No, but i got some on my Facebook. Can have a look? Oh, <laughs> well, have a look on Gemma's Facebook. We can see a picture of Gemma's mum. So it's between the names that you need to choose from a director, Tom, producer, Liam, and produ oh no! <laughs> sorry, producer Danny. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> producer Danny. Really, you can need a operator Kerry. You can just say Kerry. There's Posh Scott. He did it during the day, so he's not involved tonight. Yeah, and then, um, and then me. I'm Ali. So you're gonna see four different mums. You need to write the number with the name. So it's either gonna be Tom, Lee, um, <laughs> Tom, Danny, Kerry, or Ali. There's number one. Here is number two. Here is number three. And here is number four. So I'm not going to say anything because otherwise I sound biased if I comment on any of them. Or you might be able to guess whose is whose. So I'm saying nothing. So whose mum is who? So you've got from one to four, and it's either going to be Tom, Danny, Kerry, or Ali. Yes, Tom, Danny. Kerry or Ali. you got to guess who goes with who and then the opportunity to win a bead diddly scoop. Mm -hmm. The winner will be chosen at random from all the correct answers. And you've got to get all four right. You sound really happy with that, Tom. Yes, you do. He was working very hard cropping those pictures and pinning all those slides together yesterday. <laughs> yes, it's not quick. It does, it does take time. Um, right. Tom's decided that we might introduce ourselves later so you can maybe have a guess. Well, I think we should. I try and get you on the telly all the time, Tom. Tom's going to come on later. Kerry's had a shake of the head, but Kerry was on telly yesterday. You can see it. They can see her. <laughs> you can see the back of Kerry's new blonde dyed hair, which looks gorgeous. He's still loving being blonde. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think Kerry has slept for about three days, have you? Day you, five now. Day five and double shifts not double shifts but just day five which most people will be like yeah well we work Monday to Friday that's five days it's different when you're expected to have three days off isn't it when you're meant to have your three days off and you don't it's 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 big it's traumatic um, this is our double bill I'll be bringing you one after the other we're bringing them together aquamarine and turquoise I'll do first all the look of your Sleeping Beauty turquoise this is the dream combination I cannot wait to bring this to you it wasn't meant to be a star buy um, but I've made it a star buy because because I want to because I want to right you told me I wasn't listening <laughs> you alright you say the signs of cheating there sorry Danny I didn't mean to call you Liam I'm really sorry I didn't call him twice I called him Liam and then I called him Danny so it wasn't technically twice. Danny, I bought you a cake. I bought you three cakes. I'm getting the silent treatment here. Oh dear. Nothing a cake can't fix. Six by nine millimeter. He's telling Tom to tell me that we only have nine of these. You know, you're not talking to me now. Seven of them. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> 18 centimetre strand. Each one is not, and this is lush. If you're thinking about getting your birthstones, May's birthstone, of course, you may know as your emerald, you may not, but it is to many known as May's birthstone. It's quite a lovely, natural looking emerald. Sometimes emeralds, of course, can be the darkest green possible. Sometimes it can be really light. These are natural emeralds. Some people have never even seen a natural emerald before. I hadn't until I joined this company. I didn't even know there was a difference. I just thought the emerald you saw in the shop must be a real one. I didn't, I didn't think that it could be a synthetic emerald or a fake one or a treated one or I didn't really know much about them. I've never seen them in rounds. So we've never seen them in rounds? No, I've seen them in sort of rough, not rough nuggets, so but sort of smooth. Tumbledy nuggets. Yes, yeah, but not 
in perfect rounds like that. They're gorgeous. I think I'm feeling that I'm a little bit spoiled because I saw these perfect rounds on Friday, I think, are similar to this sort of strand in perfect rounds. Um, there are seven left. These should be, well, what would you expect for 80 carats of natural emeralds? I mean, what price could you command? If you had a massive shop and sort of one of the big names world renowned mm. and you do your sort of 500% markup, could you imagine what you could command for natural net emeralds? Did you see that that um, TV documentary on the, the million pound necklace? Did you see it, Gemma? Yeah, I did. Fantastic. With the emeralds. I mean, there's a different level of emeralds. We, we, yeah. I mean, that's obvious. But if you think it's about how much you could charge for emeralds. The thing is, the marketing campaign that's gone into those emeralds is surely going to push every piece of emerald jewellery that up, isn't it? Yep. So, you know, it's only great for us jewellery makers using emeralds now, you know, to sell our emeralds on the back of that campaign, isn't of it? Of course. You know, why not? That's what happened with diamonds. So. Exactly. Mm. And now you've got your zircons instead of your diamonds, if you think about it. Yeah. You've got your, you can actually own emeralds and 80 carats of natural emeralds. You can print out your authenticity certificate. I always think to do that because it's yeah. free, obviously. Well, okay, it's a little bit of paper, but um, I appreciate that. It's 50p if you want to get it laminated. If you want to get it laminated yourself, I'm sure you could do that. If you're a teacher, you might have a laminator in the building. Just yeah. kind of pop along in your lunch A lot of break. us crafty people have laminators. Do you? Mm. Lots of crafters have their laminators. So if you want, I would always say keep it, even just to have it on your stand to say that at one point you offered natural emeralds, even if they sell, you've still got that to say, mm. these, this is the calibre of pieces that you, you can offer and you can get a hold of. Because somebody then might say to you, oh right, did you have an 80 carat emerald, uh, emerald piece? Could I maybe get one? Mm -hmm. Then you know you need to look out for one and get some more. But for me, I would maybe buy one for myself as a family heirloom. And then, well, I know there aren't that many, there's only four left, but get one for myself and then, and then get one to make <coughs> And jewellery to sell. Yeah. I love. I, well, I never really loved emeralds until um, until I joined this company. I, I, I didn't really see the. I didn't no, see I've the excitement loved, of them. Did you always? I've love always them? loved. I love emerald green. I love that colour. Do color. you? Yeah. It's lovely. I think it's because I liked Wizard of Oz when I was. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz. I like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. I have to go and see that new one. What's it called? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Before Oz, Wicked. I really want to see that, the musical. Mm. Oh yeah, I know every song from it, never seen it. No, I've never seen it, I don't know the songs either. Oh, you love it. We should do a Wicked Day, we should go and see it. It's before all, you'd love it. Emerald Green, should we do a trip to London, guys? Danny replied, he's talking to me. <laughs> uh, four strands for you available. You get graduated in size, six by nine millimeter. Great to have, obviously, with me on the way. But for that quality of 39.90, 40 pounds for 80 carats of emeralds. You do get all those little spacer beads in between, they're probably brass, I would imagine, silver color. But at 39.95, if you think about how much you're gonna charge for emerald jewelry, please don't think, oh well, I, I paid 40 pounds, so I should probably sell it for 40. No, we're just trying to offer it to you as low as we possibly can. You have to then have your own markup on it, you're working. You charge for your working Gemma, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you've yeah. got to. Yeah. So and do do honestly charge for your working. If it took longer than you thought it was going to take, then that's that's what you need to charge. But don't be thinking, oh gosh, well somebody else might have done it in this amount of time. It's whatever time you do it in. Yeah, I, t I generally do an average because sometimes things take you longer because you go wrong and you know. Yeah. Or the first time you do a design, it always takes you longer. But like the bracelet, seven pounds. I'm not going to drop my hourly rate just because it only took me seven minutes. I'm going to charge an hour. Yes, yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? So you sort of balance out. Like some things will take you less time, some more. Right. But you average. Yeah. So make sure when you're doing your calculations of your average and you're doing your calculations of how much you're gonna, time you're going to spend to make it. But you also have to remember that emeralds are natural and they're rare and they're collectible. And you can't just come and say to me, Ali, see the emerald strand that you had last week that sold out. Can you get me another one? I'll have to say, I hope so, but mm. I can't guarantee it because I can't. As I say, this is the first time Gemma's seen them in the rounds. These are the last nine. Last time we brought them to you, they sold out. I've got four left. 39.95 is everything I've got for you here. Will I leave it with you? It is time. I can't believe it's time. I can't believe I've even managed to do this. This is something I've never, ever, ever done before, but I'm so pleased I have. It's um, a very impromptu double star buy. Stop. 
You may or you may not have heard of a dreamy gemstone called turquoise. Turquoise is one of my favourite, favourite dreamy stones. Very, very popular in the summertime and you will always notice in the summer, turquoise always seems to go up in price. It also does so in December because it's December's birthstone. This gemstone is amazing, but there's one particular location in the world that blew me away when I first found out about it. Out in Arizona, there's a particular mine called the Globe Mine, and out there you can find Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. What is that? Turquoise usually has sort of black veins, sort of matrix within it, inclusions within it. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise has none of that. Now, I cannot guarantee it's from the actual mine, but I can guarantee it is all the look of what you want in a Sleeping Beauty turquoise. If it's from America, then it's very much from that particular mine. This is genuine, it's magnificent, it's collectible. Please, 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 please call me early. The phone lines are open. I've got it as a double star buy because I'm gonna be bringing you the Aquamarine to go with it as a duo, but we're doing them two separate opportunities just in case you want to get a couple more of the, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise than the Aquamarine. I understand that Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, all that color that you're getting here is amazing. The mine is located in Globe in, in Arizona, considered to be one of the most important turquoise producing mines in the world. Let me just, it is from the United States. So your Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, I believe it is from the, the, the original Sleeping Beauty mine. I've never seen it from out with that mine. Um, what's so special about it is it's a gem that's had a history. It started more than 40 years ago when it was originally mined, and it was originally mined, the Sleeping Beauty mine, for gold and for, um, for copper. It wasn't ever mined for gemstones. And the Sleeping Beauty mines closed in the early 1600s, or early 1600s. And the last decade, it was reopened to mine copper and turquoise. It's stunning. It's why it's only sort of just started coming out in the market again. It's magnificent. It's one of the largest producers of natural turquoise, this mine in the world. It's huge and it's incredible. It's impeccable turquoise. What you're seeing here is a, is a variety of turquoise that so many people and so few people have ever even seen. So I've just had a text message in here from somebody. Who was it that said that? An anonymous is messaged in to say it doesn't look anything like a turquoise. And I understand that because it doesn't have that natural matrix that only few people have seen. But turquoise is very different from different locations. But this is from, uh, from the US of A. This is a very, very special variety of turquoise renowned throughout the industry and throughout the world as Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It is phenomenal. It's perfection and it's dreamy. It's the exact same colour you expect from turquoise. I'm sure you can't disagree with that in any way. But what you're seeing is that without the inclusions of black matrix and the, the veins that you normally see, which are, are for many people amazingly popular, but when they see a Sleeping Beauty turquoise, it's very difficult to look back. And you can incorporate that with your tur turquoise that you've seen before. Is it saying natural turquoise? Can I get the information on this, please? Um, you've got your 10 by 7 millimeter and your 12 by 8 millimeter. So it's completely natural from the US. So I believe it to be from your Sleeping Beauty mine. It is from the US. I've never seen it anywhere else other than from the actual Globe mine out in Arizona to be the dream Sleeping Beauty turquoise. You can have a look on the internet. There is a particular mine called Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, if you go onto the internet and type that in, you will be able to find out so much about the mine and the location. But it, it's magnificent to see uh, that natural beauty, that natural blue with the hints of greens coming through. And it is dreamy when you put it with your aquamarine, which is coming up as part of a double star buy. Now, it shouldn't be a star buy. It wasn't supposed to be. But I couldn't bring this on to, without it being a star buy. There's no way I could offer you this gemstone without being able to give it the time and to give it the moment that it needs. Many people, as I say, you've heard of, of turquoise, you know a little bit about it. Many people know that the patterns of, of turquoise are known as turquoise matrix. You're not wrong to know that at all. But over the different locations in the world where you can find this gemstone, what you look for are different things. The Sleeping Beauty turquoise is revered and highly sought after due to that pure sky blue colour, which shows very little if not no way, um, veining or webbing at all it's one of the dreamiest blues Gemma what do you think of Sleeping Beauty turquoise it's the first time I've seen it I think it's absolutely gorgeous it, and it is one of those occasions where rightly like the person that's texted in has said 
never seen it like that before, it's worth getting your um, authenticity card. Exactly. I, I had that issue with Opal when we started getting Ethiopian, <gasps> Ethiopian Opal. Yep. I had that same thing, people saying, well, it doesn't look anything like Opal that they that you know that they're familiar with so but then it's great it's a great story as well isn't it you but I always think you need to to learn something for me when I want to to buy something I want to a little bit when it comes to gemstones I need to learn something at the same time yeah. and if you can then help and learn and teach with your uh, and teach to your customers different things then when they do see this in the high streets and see them for the fortune that they are going for you can then think Actually, oh yeah, I remember. Actually, it was it was Gemma that told me when I met her at that la last craft fair that yeah. about Sleeping Beauty Trick. Oh, actually, she knows what she genuinely knows what she's talking about. She showed yeah. me that authenticity card, that natural turquoise from the USA, from from Arizona, from the Sleeping Beauty mine. You can print out all the information about the Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine tells you all about it so you can explain it to your customers and you can make sure that you're giving them something different, giving them something new. Everybody has seen turquoise and of course from that message that you sent in very kindly and thank you for that. I want you to ask questions, I want you to find out about things because if you don't then, then nobody will ever know. You need to ask me questions. If there's anything that you don't understand that you've never seen before, it's so, so beautiful. It's so special. Are you ready? Really? The cheapest piece that I could see on our sister channel, and we had it in a one pen that was $49.95 in a Sleeping Beauty turquoise range. You're getting it for $29.95 for the entire strand. We've got the aquamarine coming up straight after. It is your double bill. Amanda's got it, Belinda's got it, Buckinghamshire, Anonymous, Cheshire, Greater Manchester, Andrea's got it, Kent, you've got yours, Greater Manchester, you've got yours. Well done to each and every single one of you. County Antrim. Now what I'm going to do is leave that available and leave it open for you and I'm going to, what we've got at the bottom of the screen is the code for the Aquamarine I'm showing you. We might be able to reverse that so you can see constantly this is still available and we're bringing you the turquoise for you, uh, sorry that is the turquoise, we'll bring you the Aquamarine to match with it right now. As I say it's a double star buy, shouldn't be but hey, why not? I'm always doing things I shouldn't do. Well, I just thought they have to go together. They, they must. Do you agree, Gemma? Are they a must or they, a must? They go beautifully together. They really do. Because, you, you, again, you were talking about the shapes of these, the contrast of the shapes that we had earlier. Mm. And, again, the contrast with the, the faceted, uh, a faceted turquoise. You don't even really see that, do you? No. no. It, because, generally, the matrix in it doesn't really go well to facet, does it? Yep. But th the nice thing about that is, you know, turquoise is a lot of people's favourites, but you can't really create, you don't necessarily create gentle feminine jewellery with turquoise. You create sort the of big black. chunky, bold, yeah. um, quite sort of bohemian looking jewellery. But that, you can have that, that fairy tale look, you sort know? Sort of dainty, yeah. delicate, sort of Disney princess. Mm. I've got um, a necklace that I adore, I got it for my 18th birthday and it's sort of choker and it's sort of bronze gems and it's got one every now and again a really really small rondelle turquoise, just mm. a plain one and like a sleeping beauty colour, mm. no matrix in it at all and it's just all bronzes and golds with now and again a little turquoise mm. and it's just stunning and I'd never ever, I would have never put turquoise and brown together, sort of antiques, bronze oh, wire and turquoise yeah. but I love it. I love that combination. And that, and that, without the matrix, allows you to do that, to have that Sleeping Beauty blue. And you can then combat, when people ask you about it, you can explain about the mine in Arizona, you can explain about how popular it is, you can have a look for yourself, do your own research, and see how much Sleeping Beauty turquoise can cost it elsewhere, and how much you can charge for it. Um, but it is now time for our aquamarine strand which I am loving. Uh, maybe I'm slightly biased as it's March's birthstone uh, and myself and director Tom are born in March and we're a little bit in love with it. Producer Danny's mum's uh, favourite stone is, is aquamarine. As he found out this morning when he gave her a ruby ring. So I've already had quite a few of these allocated. Thank you very, very much. Now, Aquamarine is a gem you can see every day, which is again another great one for you to have because everybody knows what it's supposed to look like. 
which is perfect if you want to show off the quality because you're getting clarity in these Brazilian aquamarines. This for me is your Espirito Santo aquamarine. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. When you have an aquamarine that's sort of more of a, um, a pastel shade, you call it Espirito Santo. When it's got a darker, richer color, you can call it sort of Santa Maria color, depending on what color you've got. When you have a, a sort of pastel shade like this, you get more of a brilliance. It allows the light to travel through it, allows you to get that return of light. It's obviously, it's got to have the clarity, it's got to have the attributes of that as well, which aquamarine, as you probably know, ah, oh, look at it, it's like, it's like the sun twinkling on the top of a beautiful lake. Ah, oh, it wasn't going to be a star buy, neither were the last two. We were only going to have one star buy um, at half past, which uh, we're still going to bring to you, but I just there wasn't a big enough quantity, I thought, so I wanted to be naughty, and I thought, well, the only way I can get the price down is if I make a star buy. <laughs> is that terrible, Gemma? No. Is that bad? Would you that's, do that? Yeah, that's, that's why everybody loves you, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody does, but I'll take that. I'm not going to argue, but I'll, I'll take that. No, oh, yeah, it's only because I brought in cake. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and it's like, it's triple four, it's six double five, dreamy, it is seven. You did it. It was meant to be 19.95. He's even gone and taken it lower than what that was for a star buy price. We want you to try the two of them together. Of course I do. Obviously, I think they're amazing together. And if we'd had time, I would have given them to Gemma as well. It was a very impromptu star buy for poor Scott. What are you up to anyway, actually? Now that I'm having a look, what are you working with? You're working with the pearls, the superstar buy. And the pearls and the And the opal. wire and the opal. Oh, I didn't tell you about the opal, did I? Brand new Ethiopian opal. Du oh, no, I've got a double star buy as a superstar as well. What am I like? It just means I can get the price down. Um, Everyone does go out the country and I've just decided that they're away. I'm going to decide there's more star buys. I was like, Danny, I'm rewriting the rules. Well, to be fair, why not? Who's going to stop me? That's what I say. Jan in Norfolk's there. Shan and Myrtle Tidville, you're there as well. What that rule? I mean, Scott's still... I mean, you think you've given up looking for that rule book, haven't you? No, no, I'm so We've had a message via the web. You say, hello, everyone. My mum is watching GM and love, love, loves making jewellery, which I sometimes do with her. Her name is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Please, can you wish her a happy Mother's Day? Um, I sort of forgot a card oh. to write in her card. From Katja, age 10. P.S. Please tell her I'm sorry about the card. Michelle, happy birthday from Katja. Was it Katja? Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Why do I keep saying birthday today? Is it anyone's birthday today? It's no one's. It's their mum's last Friday, so still no one's today. Happy Mother's Day, Michelle. Happy Mother's Day. I'm, oh, she's sorry she didn't write it in the card, but a big, big Happy Mother's Day. Two kisses to you. Hope you're having a lovely day. And another message from Ash, who's messaged in, says, Hi, Ali, we don't do Mother's Day, but I want to say how much I love my wife. Great show in Chichester. Chichester. So, hello there. I don't know your name, but a big hello to... What was that, sorry? Asher's wife. A big hello to you. Oh, whatever you're celebrating today, whether you're just celebrating the fact that the sun's out. I hope the sun's out where you are. It's nice and sunny here. Oh, I've had a message in about the mine closing last year. Um, sometimes mines do close, but it doesn't mean that gemstone can't be from there. Still, sometimes they're within the industry being bought and being sold. doesn't necessarily be mined. For example, our Songia mine closed um, 10 years ago, but we're still, we're still bringing gemstones from the particular mine in different mine locations. So even though the mine is closed, it doesn't mean that there aren't pieces from that mines. Traders will buy it, we'll buy it from artisanal miners. People hold on to it to keep the value of it. Uh, and then they might need to decide, for example, tanzanite mines run out, might run out within the next couple of years. Purely, there, there's nothing being mined as we, we were aware of since we went in February for Tanzania and the Tanzanian mine. But that doesn't mean that there won't be tanzanite about in the industry. So always remember that there's always going to be some in the industry. Um, it doesn't mean it's not going to be available. Even if the mine has shut, it means that the gemstones can still be around. So thank you for having a look. And it's always good to do your research. And as I say, 
always ask your questions but um well done to every single one of you i hope you managed to get it. if you got them together brilliant if you just went for one or t'other again fantastic But I'm going to leave that with you because producer Danny's just had some lemon cake, so he's feeling fabulous. Now, do you love, do you love Morganite and Kunzite? Let me show you these. If you do, you will love these. I'm not going to tell, did I tell you what they were earlier, did I? I did as well, didn't I? Oh. They aren't kunzite, and it's not morganite, but it is some of the finest quality rose quartz and some of the high, highest caliber pink amethyst out there that we could get our hands on. And I'm bringing it to you as a double bill star buy. Mm -hmm. Two separate opportunities, so you can go for t both of them or you can go for one or t'other. But again, I thought it's a must. We've gone for the blues and then we're going for the pinks. So I'm getting something for everybody today. Um, if you have any questions, please do message them in. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for um, your questions about the mine. Thank you for your questions about the matrix. Thank you about asking. Um, I want you to ask. I want to answer any questions I can. And if I don't know the answer off the top of my head, I will go and find out for you. So we're going to, now this is one of producer Danny's favourites. He's just had some lemon dribble, re, lemon dribble? Lemon drizzle cake. I don't know if I'm alright. I think I need some cake to be, oh, coffee. Oh, thank you, Scott. Scott's gone and got me a cup of coffee. Cheers, posh Scott. These are lush. Now, if I'm honest, which I'm, I am probably far too honest for my own good, I would get a bit scared if I had these, Gemma. Because I wouldn't know what to do with them. Mm. What would you do with them? Are you scared by them as well? No. No. <laughs> no, I don't. I love I'm that scared. <laughs> Imagine skating, Gemma Crow. I, I, I don't look forward to that day. I hope I'm not here for that day. No, you don't want to be around for that. <laughs> what would we do with them? What would you do with them? Um, I would. I like to work with heavy gauge wine. Why? Yep. So then you, when you work with heavy gauges, you can do really simple sort of spiky designs and things like that, and they, they go in great oh. with that sort of design. Would you put some sort of nuggety gemstones in between or not? Would possibly you just, just have? Possibly just um, lengths of wire, sort of all hammered and textured and quite spiky. So you're yeah. really good at that. <laughs> yeah, like I need to learn. You've got to come to Gemma's Wirework Workshop, which is on the 12th, 16th, 16th. of April. So, producer Danny loves these. Gents jewellery. Shush, direct to <laughs> I'm not trying to steal a strand. Oh, well, I just don't think you should get two for this price. I think we're just giving them away. I think it's too much. <laughs> you get two. Two different strands. One is slightly bigger. I'm going to be honest, I don't believe there's a difference between your Rio lemon quartz and your bicolor lemon quartz because they're both bicolor because bicolor means you're seeing two colors. So you can see two colors in both. One's got a, a, a heading of Rio, the other one doesn't. One's 130 carats, which is the, I believe, the big one in the top. Oh, how are That's a, I like that big one. Would you have that big one on its own? Yeah, possibly. Has it got a point? Does it go into a point? It's almost like a pencil point, yeah. yeah. Are they not used, are they used sort of in crystal healing, the points of gemstone? Yeah, I've heard that. I don't know much about crystal healing, to be honest, oh, but no. I do know um, that I had a pendant once in that shape of a rose quartz, yeah. funnily enough, and um, it was just a pendant on its own, and I wear it all the time. I love it. Just I loved it. Why I wrap the top, put it in a chain, but I'm sure it's the point that something significant that make channeling energy or something but oh. if that's what you're into I think that they could work well for those that sort of market you ah, know? and if you think about it quartz in itself is already straight away you know quartz has got great power to it purely because the power watches your quartz yeah. movement and your yeah. watch you know that whether you're into your crystal uh, or not but your quartz movement is awesome mm. that still amazes me to this I day know. yeah get a message know. from Darren in Lanarkshire. Hiya, Darren. You said, hi, all. That 
Uh, citric Splendor would go lovely with Smoky Quartz or something like Labradorite. Oh yeah, we get three kisses, three kisses from uh, from Darren. Thanks, Darren. Are they all for you, where are they, Darren? <laughs> Danny's like they're all for me. That's all I'm saying. Uh, fine then, you can't steal all the kisses. Well, funny you said that, Darren. How about our dream? Now that facet is the exact same as our two star buy facets that are coming up. Loving it or loving it? Definitely loving it. Definitely With loving it, Darren. <laughs> you're on to a winner. What was that, sorry? With all those options. Plenty of options. Makes me think a little bit like a sort of a Cleopatra style necklace. So you're going to get two, as much as I tried to stop you from getting two. 21.90. Now, it's only ever been 11.95. One of them's only been at 11.95. The smaller card weight's only been at 9.95. Oh, I quite like it now. It's lovely. It's really lovely. I'm thinking a polymer clay collar with those hanging off. That's oh. great, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm loving them now. See, when I saw them in the hand, I thought, what am I going to do with them? But see, when you see them up in the neckline, it gets me excited. Mm. <laughs> Director Tom's definitely a neckline piece. <laughs> Get into this, aren't you? Too big for your cufflinks, are they? All right. I love the graduation. 14.90 for all of them. For both of them, you get two of them. Gents, I'm thinking gents jewellery. Smoky quartz, gents jewellery as well. Yeah, maybe just one in a point for gents jewellery. Or, you know, in a tie pin. It's that right shape, isn't a it? A tie pin. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, how cool would that be? Yeah, I've got a genuine quartz tie pin. You can make loads of tie pins from one of these. Yeah. Father's Day's on the 6th of June, isn't it? Is it the 6th of June? That's my dad's birthday. It's in June anyway. It is June, but I don't know when. I don't know when. Sorry, I said 6th of June. That's my dad's birthday. It was around then last year. 15th of June. So, Danny, are you thinking about a tie pin for your dad? And lemon's quite nice because most gentlemen tend to wear beige and brown suits and sort of, or beige and brown shirts maybe. Yeah. Lots and lots of interest after this one. Lots and lots of you coming in. Doreen's in. Um, Sunny Monmouth is in. Lots of ladies are in. I'm trying to see if any gents are in yet. Quite a lot of anonymouses. Not sure who they would be. Ladies or gents, maybe a bit of both. But you get both strands. So we should be up at 20, was it 21.90? And we're at 14.90 and you're getting two strands. You get them both. So this one's slightly um, bigger in the middle as you can see that one huge stone right in the middle. Let me hold that out. Oh, it makes me think of like um, lemon sweeties that have been dipped, like lemon jelly sweeties that have been dipped in chocolate. Yeah, they're nice those. They're with different Remind me of, what, sorry? They're nice with different colours. I've not seen that before. It's, it's yum. I, I'm think, I just always compare everything to food I do. That's worrying, isn't it? Oh, like banana and chocolate. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, maybe you've got some um, smoky quartz nuggets at home. Maybe you've got some smoky quartz sitting around thinking, what should I do with that? Well, you're going to be able to put it with this and smoky quartz would go quite nice. I know it sounds crazy, but that sort of look of the Sleeping Beauty quartz turquoise, that would go quite nice. Maybe you've got some citrine at home. Lush these are. Oh. What was that? Yumi, when did my what? Where is this? No one tell me this. What, what? It's gone. <laughs> You're not going to tell me what this is. You just plumped it on the table. <laughs> There's jewellery made up with it. I know it. Well, right now they're going to they're gonna fly out the door even faster than they were already. This was made by Rosanna. There's a lovely pair of earrings made from them. Well, the other, sorry, I'm still holding the strands in my hand. Oh. Yes. 
It's not got an earring fine on. I don't know if that's maybe meant to be a match or is it the charm? Oh, it's got broke it. <laughs> oh, it wasn't Scott that broke it. It was just broke. So an idea of what you can make with it, if you haven't already got it. Sorry, Scott, that's bad. I blame Scott for that, wasn't Scott? Yes. It might have meant to be just a charm, or is the other half there somewhere? Uh, there is somewhere. There is, the, the other part is somewhere. Um, with 10 spaces available, 0800 644 5 on the free phone number, call me when you can. <gasps> I love that! It's a wee bit tangled, how about I just show you the actual idea? I love it! And there it is, it's like a little charm on a bracelet. A little bit of wire, is that too hard to do Gemma with a clasp in there? No, that's lovely. A little bit of wire. That's nice. You might attach a ring as well to that, <gasps> so it does definitely stay down the hand. Oh right. yeah! Oh, I love it! Lots and lots of treats. What else is that? Oh, it's like a gents piece. I'm saying it's a gents piece. Sorry, 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 I've got wire mesh to do in a double star buy. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I've gone, I've got a few left, I need to move on. All right, it's because I'm putting all these double strands in. All right, all right, I'm going to go over to two. Uh, we're gonna have a look at Gemma. Now Gemma's got some wire mesh over yeah. there. We're gonna offer you some wire mesh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I just found some grapes in my bag. I forgot I had them. If you've just tuned in, I'm Riley Devoy, and we've got our fantastic designer Gemma yeah. with us. Gemma Crow is with us today. Um, what are you up to here? I'm just. I'm making something. <gasps> I love what you're making. It was something that didn't work, and it's now becoming something else. It's now becoming so something else. That would have worked in the whips of fame, whips that would have done. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I haven't worked with the mesh yet, so that's next. So, can we have a look, can you tell me what you would do with that? Because Danny wants to offer the mesh, the mesh to everybody now. Well, the mesh, the mesh is great. Yeah, you it's all over here. Sorry, I'll direct, direct to Tom, I was like, have you got it with you? <laughs> it's it's here, good. it's here, don't worry. So, so. Hi, right. I've never ever properly worked with wire mesh before. I saw it for the first time the other day and my producer went, Ali, pull it. Yeah. So I was like, what do uh, you do yeah, with it? And she went, just pull it. I was watching. I was, were you watching? Were <laughs> you sitting excited, cringing at home thinking, oh my dear Lord, that poor girl. She's showing everyone what to do with wire mesh and she has no like idea. That. It is like that. And a lot of people get it home, love it, and they love how it moves and how it works, but then frightened to use it. Yeah, see, so I, I don't know what to do. They think, oh, it's lovely, but then what? So there's, you know, there's um, DVDs out and there's um, workshops and there's also another DVD coming, I think, yes. I think on the 10th. Oh. So there's loads of things you can do with it. The great thing about it is even if you do just want to play with it, it can, goes back into shape. So you can't waste right. it by playing with it. So there's no harm Oh, in that's all right, because I was worried I kept playing with it the other day and then I thought, have I just ruined all of this lovely wire mesh because no. I was just playing with it, I was pulling it. No. You can keep, you can play with it as much as you like, and you can pull it and tug it around. And then, when you've had enough, or you don't like it, um, you can just put it back into shape. So it's it's basically a, a wire tube, a tube of knitted wire. Right. Um, and so it does hold its shape when you pull it because the wire's got a memory. You know, it, the wire's what's the word? It, it will hold. It shape. remembers. Yeah, yeah it, it can remember. But then, because it's so fine, and you put it. If you just stretch it back, it's just back into its shape again. So it's fabulous. You can make shapes and quite structured um, things with it, like the roses and flowers. Yep. Or, or you can use it like a sock and have it as something to cover a framework. Ooh. Or you can pop beads inside, so you can pop. What inside it? You can pop a pearl or something inside, and then just twist either side. It's nice when you've got a really big bead inside, because so you can just see the shimmer of that pearl inside there so um, and what it just stays like that yeah you can twist it I mean you can put, pop a bit of wire on there if you want or you can even knot it because you can use it like a cord as well so it could be like you can macrame with it <gasps> you um, can macrame with it yeah if you want to be really extravagant you can kumahimo with it or crochet with it now if you don't know what that is there's two different disciplines sort of Japanese art of braiding is your kumahimo and you have your um if you've ever heard of sort of shambhala style bracelets that's your sort of um macrame style but we have mm -hmm. dvds for all of it we're going to offer a dvd with this um I would, where is the dvd 
I don't know. Leave me be. All right. <laughs> However, I leave that with you for a minute, yeah. and you you tell everyone a wee bit more about it, and I'll try and find what I'm supposed to be finding. Okay. Would you like me to show something? Yeah, go for it, okay. Gemma. Let me show you something really quick then. So if we're making a frame, um, I'm going to use um, some 0.8 wire, which should be fine. Um, just something to hold a nice, make a shape, something you can stretch the mesh over. So if I make a quick leaf shape by um, bending the wire, and let's just quickly twist it together to keep it held in place. I'm just very quickly doing this. So I've got a, a leaf shape. And then you can pop that leaf shape into your mesh. Use the red so you can see it nicely. So we just pop that into the mesh. You see it, it flattens because obviously we haven't stretched the mesh yet. So now what you'd do is run your fingers along the edge of the frame and pull, pull the frame back out. It works better with a higher gauge wire really, so it's really quite strong. But for the demonstration, this is fine. So just keep Tucking your mesh onto the frame, you can see it just fills, fills that framework up nicely. And then you just twist the end to keep it in shape. You can finish that end in a number of ways. I like to use enamels on the end, we can use a bit of glue, or you can wrap it with wire just to keep it there. You wrap it and then cut it off, and the same with the top end, and then you've got um, a leaf that you can then use in a design or in a fascinator. These are great because they give you great structure. Um, they fill a large space and they're really light. So I was going to say, they're not going to be too heavy on your head, are it. they? But you can imagine all the petals together make a flower. It's so, so versatile. It's a fabulous medium. And the, I'm just thinking there are a lot of your designs on our Facebook page. You can watch the DVD. We've yeah. got a DVD with this. Now, I don't actually know where the physical DVD is, but this is the DVD from it, or this is part of it. So it's fascinating, like what you were talking about there. Yeah. This is the rose, which... It's very popular. Oh my gosh. And how long did the rose take to make? The rose, when you're starting out, give yourself a couple of hours to really get to grips with how you hold everything. That's the, that's the hardest thing about it is holding everything in place when you work. But right. for me now, I make one every, I can make one every sort of 15 minutes. So once you get used to it, You can make it's a, a rose like that in 15 minutes? Yeah. We need this DVD. Brilliant. The DVD comes with it. So you get the DVD showing you how to make the rose and how to make the leaf style shape that you've just sort of demonstrated yeah. there. We do the, the fascinator there, but that's oh. got the leaves in and the lilies. I was going to say, what was that flower? It's a lily. Yeah. We've got the rose and then there's some poppies on there as well, which is this what you're seeing now. Um, and that would be good with the red colour that we've got, right? Red. Yeah, great for um, Remembrance Day when, you, when it comes round again. That's November, isn't it? Time? Yeah. So you've yeah. got yourself the red colour where you can get it for in time, give you plenty of time to start making it and of course by November maybe perfect it by then. Yeah. Yeah. As I've never really um, had these before, mm -hmm. how much do you charge for wire mesh designs? Because they look, to me when I look at them, I think they look incredibly intricate. Like well, for example the rose style. The rose, yeah, around, around the £30 mark for a rose really? in a necklace. They yeah. look so expensive and they look so bespoke. I'm thinking when you go to a wedding, the last thing you want to do is bump into somebody with the same thing on, isn't yeah. it? You're not, yeah, you're not going to or something like that, are you? Oh, I, I'm so excited about this. So, you get the DVD and you get the two colours of wire mesh mm -hmm. and you think these work quite well together. Yeah, I love the green and red together. It's lovely and because it, it's such a dark green, it's, it goes away slightly from that Christmassy feel that you usually think of with red and green because it's quite a dark, petrally green. It's almost like um, if you pull it out, I like to do this because I can just stretch it back. Yeah. Oh, it's so much fun. It reminds me a little bit of um, indicolite colours, sort of Periba Tor uh, if you've heard of the tourmaline family, mm. there's a variety called indicolite, which is really dark blue, almost like sort of hints of teal green in there, yeah. like a tealy bluey green. Uh, and like you said, like a sort of petrol blue. It's really deep, it's really dark, it's really rich. And then that red, if you just think about it, with a little bit of red lipstick, maybe red nail polish, and then a red piece like this. Yeah. So it should be ten. It should be ten eighty. But we're going to give one of the wire meshes for free. How much is a wire mesh normally? Seven pounds ninety. The DVD on its own is four ninety five, and you get the two colours. 
Is that sort of a, a normal price, an awesome price? It's a great price. You are basically getting one for free. And if you bear in mind that just six months ago, our mesh, each meter was seven ninety nine or eight forty nine. Um, that was how much our mesh was just six months ago. Really? Yeah. It's only since we've got these, this lovely, and it's, it's actually a nicer quality than what we used to have. Really? So it's, it's half the price and better quality. And is it, and is it the same length? What have we got? Yeah, it's the same length. This one, I think, is the, we've got two gauges now. We've got a one millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and an 18 or 15 millimeter. I think this is the 10. Right. 10 millimeter. So you've got yourself plenty of flying out. Now, best advice from Gemma, I'm thinking, is don't <coughs> be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Give it a try. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Everyone's wanting to, ho to get a hold of it. I think the colors, we think, go well. Yeah, absolutely. Happy with absolutely. the colours. Yeah. The reds, I think, perfect for any lady. And then, of course, if you wear I mean, navy business suits, I'm yeah. thinking a lot of people wear navy. It's a sort of, I know it says green, but I'm verging on the sort of green, ver rich of navy. Yeah. I know it looks, it looks quite dark on the telly, Is it doesn't racing it? Racing car green, would you call it? Racing, racing car green. Is that what you'd call it? British maybe? racing green. Yeah. I'd even say British yeah. racing green with a kiss of blue. Yeah. <laughs> inky, it's an inky green. An inky it? green. Yes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yes. I'm going for it. Um, now, we did have 75. I've got 25 left. So what I'm just going to do for you now is show you your star buy, which I was supposed to do, your double star buy. In fact, where's the other one gone? But it isn't there on the table anymore, just so you know it's gone. Right. I, I, I have my eye on this rose quartz. <laughs> this rose quartz is not leaving the building without me. It wasn't me. Um, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't me. me. Are you sure? No. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do the, the amethyst over here, actually. I'm allowed to do it. I'm allowed to do it now. Have we got enough? If everyone checks out on the web, I think this is the, the mesh sold out. You get the DVD as well. You get 30 days as well to change your mind. I don't expect you to. But if you get it home and you think, oh, hold on a minute. I've already got that colour, or maybe you want to match it with what, with what you've got at home. I completely understand. Get at home, you get your 30 days, but you are getting one for free, considering eight, six months ago they were about seven, eight, nine, seven, eight pounds. They were, yeah. You're yeah. now getting one for free. That's like, that's awesome. Yeah, it's That's the price affordable. of a strand, that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, right. Um, best of luck to each and every single one of you. I would, and I'm sure Gemma would as well, love to see what you make with your designs. I'm going to leave that with you because it is star by <laughs> right now. Just realised I've got all your tools that you might be and needing. And you've pinched my mesh. And I've pinched your mesh, I've pinched, pinched your mesh. wire. I'm going to give it all back to Gemma. Um, we are going to do, now I wanted to show you these two together because they go perfectly together and that's the whole reason I put them together. It's your pink amethyst and your graduated concave facet but you've also got a rose quartz to go with it to give you a complete contrast. 18 centimetre strands with 7 by 5 millimetre with seven by five millimeter, graduating all the way up to 12 by 10. Now I'm gonna do the other one at the other table, but I want to show them together because they are the complete, for me, perfection. Everything, for everybody who adores your sort of lilacs of your morganites and your kunzites, your kunzites, you look for that glow, don't you? You look for that lilac between your morganite and kunzite. You have it here in these two stones, but from your pink amethyst and your rose quartz. Now together, I think they're, they're a must. I don't think you can get one without the other. That's maybe me just being in love with rose quartz. Mm. What do you think, Gemma? Would you use the two together or would you just go for one strand? Well, I think they look lovely together. I'm not sure, I think I, think I might keep them. I don't know, I don't you know, I'm You torn. can't decide. Yeah, I'm really torn. It depends, maybe if I put them with those Keshi pearls, I'd have a mix of the two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, depending on what I put them with. Because I just think, how much further is that going to make your strand go when you've got the two of them? And everybody loves morganite, everybody loves kunzite, but we can't offer you morganite with the clarity or kunzite with the clarity that we can from a pink amethyst and a rose quartz and at the price point. So the one we're doing right now is the, the pink amethyst. So I'm going to show this to you on its own. 
So with a pink amethyst, you get, oh, you get more of a brilliance. When do you ever see a sort of rich, rich, dark purple amethyst give you that much of sparkle, that much return of light? You don't because it's so saturated. You get a great color and it depends what you look for in an amethyst. Do you look for color or do you look for brilliance or do you want to mix this with some amethyst that you've already got at home? They're already being allocated. These are some of our most exquisite when it comes to pink because you've got clarity, you're completely natural Brazilian amethyst and you have concave fasting not just on the sort of one side but it's on both sides so concave is when you have extra facets along the pavilion of the stone but because this has got like a double pavilion you get double the amount and because of the pastel shade of it and the clarity you've got yourself one of the most dreamy dreamy strands feminine elegant and it's amethyst. Again, a gem you don't need to explain. And can you see that this gives you more of a brilliance than your purple amethyst, your dark purples? So popular. This is our Brazilian pink amethyst. Flies out the door in our sister channel. Now it is a star buy and that's, um, well, the reason I asked for it to be a star buy is because I wanted to get the price down because I know you can see amethyst at a variety of price points and even though all the work that's gone into this I think this could command £49 every day of the week we, we do on our sister channel for just one stone like this in a ring but I understand maybe you've been conditioned and that's our fault and I, my fault we've become a little bit blase and we think you can get amethyst of this quality every single day and, and it's, you can't and for the only reason that's the only reason because you see for amethyst strands at a lower price point this is more considered it will be more considered but it's worth considering I don't believe it's more considered for what you're actually getting but compared to the other opportunities I can offer you at sort of 20 pounds it is going to be more considered um, but at 28.95 I don't think that's considered for no it's not is it I know it's not considered for what you're getting but I understand compared to another amethyst strand that you might have seen at 12 pounds you might think why is that one 12 pounds and why is this one 29 the reason being the amount of time it takes to facet a gemstone is hours. It's, it's not done within a matter of minutes. It's not something you can get better at and you can do, you can do it quicker, but it's still gonna take at least a couple of hours to concave facet one stone. So to do that on every single stone, for you to have that much. Now, I, I understand that 29 pounds is something you might not have set aside for an amethyst, which is why I'm taking everything I can off and it's down to 24.95. The only reason that can do that is because I made it a star buy. Because purely, I know that a lot of people will see amethyst elsewhere. Um, not this quality, and not this color, and not this clarity, but just sort of amethyst as a gem. So if you'd set money aside for an amethyst, you might not have set aside 30 pounds. And I understand that. But if you want this quality, then, then well, I wouldn't even offer you one of those on my sister channel for 25 pounds. Aren't they gorgeous? They are I'd put all of them in rings. All of them, single rings. Yeah. So how many would that be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 rings. How much a ring? Um, depending. At least a fiver? Oh yes, absolutely at least. At, so least, ten, at least 10. I okay, I was going to say, be ridiculous and say five pounds. Yeah. Say 10, that's 90 pounds this strand could, could well, potentially offer to you yeah. and you're paying 24 30 so you're more than more than doubly getting back what you spent on it yeah it's brilliant i i'm well i'm biased because I, I know how hard it was for us to get a hold of this quality you probably know we only started launching these strands sort of within in the past month with all these facets didn't we it's, yeah. it's not something we've done for years we haven't done this strand for four years since we've been around or three and a bit years this is something we just introduced only just recently and the only reason we can do this is partly to do with the buying power of our sister channel James TV it's been running for 10 years this year so with that and with all of your constant constantly joining us you know the value of what you're getting you know the value of your gemstones you understand how coveted faceted gemstones like this should be at a higher price point as I see one of those the, the first one is a seven by five that in itself is larger than an individual solitaire average solitaire in the high street on its own so for 24.95 Joanne's got it Joan's got it Jane's got it Jan Christine all the J's are in Chris is in Zena's in Barb's in Angel's in Anonymous Deborah I mean that on its own is a dream isn't that stunning look how much brilliance you get from one yeah, just that. That's lovely. 
and obviously you could change the price point depending on the size of the stone because this this size stone mm. you wouldn't have at the same price as this one no you wouldn't you wouldn't it's just fabulous as a ring it really shows off that 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 cut doesn't it definitely and you need the light to be able to hit through the middle right off the crown angle at the top and be able to return in but i'm seeing a crown angle it's, it's concave faceted on both sides there's no, there's no way you can get away from the luster of this stone. Um, now, I appreciate a lot of you are waiting to see the price of the rose quartz to get the two together. You don't have to get the two together. But I want to show you the two together because I'm in love with them both. And I think they should be used together. But I will leave the pink uh, amethyst with you. It's still available. It's now time for your second star buy. <laughs> There is a particular designer, um, a German designer, who has a love, I think almost as much of a love for rose quartz as I do. And he's set into his, yeah, really. Um, yeah, I know. I, d I don't know if anyone could love rose quartz as much as that. It's my favorite stone. That and now Sveen, but rose quartz from the beginning. Um, rose quartz is an amazing stone that not enough people, I don't think, give it its due. It's a gemstone that you can get anywhere pretty much anywhere. You can get it really included, you can get it quite cloudy, or you can get the creme de la creme of rose quartz, which is the finest calibre, the finest quality. It has it has clarity, but it still has that natural, mystical glow from within. It epitomises femininity. It's everything I want. Please do not expect this rose quartz stand to be at the same price as other rose quartz you've seen, because this is the finest we've got to offer. This. Um, we oh, <laughs> I hope you understand how special this is. No, you can't. Danny's already wanting to lower the price. But I did ask for it to be a star buy in the hope that. All right, all right, all right. Can I just point out, I, because it's rose quartz. I don't want it to go lower. It makes me cry that it's as low as it is anyway. Um, I have for you here a gem that I want you to try. Please, please, please just give it a try. I know a lot of people have already tried rose quartz. This is another level of rose quartz. Can you see the glow that it has? Does it remind you of kunzite? The sort of phosphorescence that you expect from kunzite? Oh, sorry, the reason I was telling you about that gentleman, um, David Yerman, he, um, he has a, a, a website, you can have a look on it. He has rose quartz at like, Fifteen hundred dollars for a rose quartz ring in silver. In silver. Wow. Like eight hundred dollars for a rose quartz pendant in silver, which is great, but it's just one stone. Mm. And I, I don't get it. I get there's gorgeous qualities of rose quartz, but then your silver is always going to be the same. For silver is the price of silver. That's that. Mm. So it amazes me that we don't give rose quartz its due. A lot of the people think, oh, it's rose quartz, it's gonna be like five pound. No, command your price in rose quartz, please do, because this is one of the finest rose quartz I've ever, ever offered to you in eight years of bringing you genuine gemstone jewelry. I'm in love with it. Are you in agreement, Gemma? Have you seen this often? No. This quality? No, I've never seen that. In fact, I think I found one once in a scoop. <gasps> right there, and I think I was so chuffed with it because I very rarely keep the scoops. I take them out for my workshops and use them. Yeah. But there's a certain certain ones that I'll keep and put in a little bag aside for me. <laughs> and that was one of the ones that you get excited about, you know, if you find one. <gasps> so yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe someone would put it in the scoop. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why well, would you do? Yeah. Oh. Do you think it would go with that bronze wire that you're using? Yeah. Definitely. Um, Mark Smith first introduced me to um, antique bronze and rose quartz, to be honest. Did he? Yeah, it's a really lovely combination. See, I've always thought pink and mink. Mm, yeah. So it's, I'm... It is lovely to get there. I'd put it with rose gold as well, or copper. Oh, yes. Copper f coloured findings, mm. rose gold findings. It's top quality. I've already got Pat, Tanya, Zena, Anonymous, Jane, Barbie, you've already got yours. Thank you. Whether you, you know the rose quartz or not, whether you're trying it for the first time, it is the dreamy. And with pearls, these big pearls that are coming up. And then, in fact, if I turn that round, you can see your rose gold findings with it. Oh, this is so sad. 
It's really 1749. You cannot get a rose quartz stone on its own like that for 1749. Everything we were talking about the fasting on the pink amethyst is the exact same the exact same in the rose quartz if you want to give it a try which i think you must in fact no it's not if you want to try it now oh my god it's six double four six double five you're thinking ali why didn't you give me a shake why didn't you make me take it why didn't you make me treat myself to one i've got a rose quartz in this company that cost me what was it i think it was 25 pounds from my sister channel just in a rose quartz ring in silver i got a few years ago rose quartz doesn't look anything like this no no it's dull it's pink but this this is this is just another level of rose quartz please don't think all rose quartz looks like this this is top quality it's stunning and when you get this home you'll think oh my gosh i'm so pleased i give it a try i understand it should be 20 odd pounds and it's in fact do you know what it should be more than that but we offer it at 20 pounds we've taken it down to 17.94 i think it's far too low i made it a star buy so i could give it away now as much as i don't want the price to go down i think I, th I just don't think we put that much aside for rose quartz and I understand why mm. because rose quartz doesn't usually look like this yeah but when it does you need to give it a go my daughter would love you to say hello before she goes up to bed her name is Kara and she loves my jewelry and that's Natasha and Conway oh hello there Kara night night have a lovely lovely sleep both Gemma and me and all the team I hope you have a sleep well night, sweet Cara. dreams night night Kara and we know you love your mum's jewellery. And that's okay. Natasha and Conway. I love that. Add that in. And she loves my jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> Director Tom wants to go back to Conway. He's been a few times and loved it. Never been. I've never been either, I don't think. Lovely castle and a fantastic fish and chips, apparently. Mm. Oh. Mm. Out in Dumbartonshire, well done. I have about six of you. You need to check it out. It's 17.95. I hope you get it. Now, many of you heard me mention earlier about Gemma's Vintage Workshop. This is how you get involved and how you can come and join us for it. I have more star buys. I have that toolkit coming up for you to help you make your own tools um, or sort of gem setting toolkit, should I say. You'll get to see more Gemma's designs. The pearls are coming up. The um, Ethiopian opal looks amazing. It's coming up and it's all coming up on the other side of this. So don't go anywhere and we'll see you in a bit. If you love classic jewellery, then why not come and join guest designer Gemma Crow on our vintage workshop. Gemma will guide you through various beading and wirework techniques, which will inspire you to create timeless designs from a bygone era. The full course includes a selection of wire, a selection of findings and charms, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools and equipment, a buffet lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. Have a blast from the past and take home some amazing designs. For further information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better. You can make your own call using the bead reamer from the toolkit. Take a length of wire. Holding your reamer, firmly anchor the wire onto the handle. Then wrap the wire around the reamer until you have the desired length. Snip off any unwanted excess.
I was so going to have a grape there, just as about to put it in my mouth, it's time to come back. It's not enough time. If you've just tuned in, I'm Ali Dufoy. I've got the amazing Gemma Crow guest designer with us today. You can find her on Facebook. Um, guest designer Gemma Crow, or is it Gemma Crow guest designer? I think it's JM guest designer. You think it's JM? We don't think it's either of that. We think it's JM guest, guest designer, designer Gemma, Gemma Crow. Crow. Um, what I'll do when I go home, if you're, you're on my page, my name's Ali Defoy. If not, I'll post it on the Julian Maker UK page. Bear in mind, I will not be home till after midnight tonight, so it'll probably be tomorrow morning when you see it. But I'll, I'll, I'll post Gemma's page up there if you haven't already found it. You probably will by then, actually. But if you haven't. Anyway. What was that, sorry? The, I, think, I think I'm the only Gemma Crow on there. You think you're the only Gemma Crow on there? Oh, well, yeah. we'll soon find her. You'll find me. Oh, we'll find her. We'll find her. And we need to get more likes for Gemma Crow. We need to get more likes for Gemma Crow. I just think, if you think about it, there's 27,000 likes on the Julian Maker UK page. Uh, and we only need a couple more between us. That, that's it, awesome, awesomeness. Um, I wonder how many Ed's got. Ed got most of his likes. I'm not, Ed, if you're watching, you know this is true. From offering bean scoops. 1,257 likes. And he was like, oh, like me, I'll give you a bean scoop. I'll, I'll choose at random who gets a bean scoop. Should I do that? I'm not going to resort to this level. Can I give out a cake? I'll post you a cake. <laughs> right, lots and lots coming up. Now, for those of you who missed out on the Zircon, there, may, there were 165 when we showed it to you. I think there's maybe about 30 left. I'll just show it to you. Um, we'll bring the final few of these back just to remind you. My bracelet, it's not even mine. It's Gemma Crow's gorgeous bracelet but I wearing it, um, was made from this amazing strand as well as a pair of earrings, as well as my pendant. Am I gonna forget to take it off? Well, if you remind me, then obviously I can't use that excuse to stop reminding me. <laughs> and we have a trio coming up. Oh, we're we doing it right now. Oh, we do it right now then. Sorry, I thought I was going to remind you that it was coming up, but we're just reminding it and doing it. Awesome. So we had 165. There are now not 165, as I say. This is a gemstone. Amazing quality, 1995. Um, if you think about it, if you're just joining me, over 100 were allocated within the first sort of, uh, what, well, first hour of the show. We brought this to you just before 6 p.m. So I do apologize if you missed it, if you didn't miss it. Everyone else has uh, been after it. We managed to bring it back for you at 1995. What you're getting yourself here is everything we love. Uh, I love what Gemma named uh, as a sort of antique diamond idea, mm. giving you that dream, giving you all the fire and brilliance you expect in a diamond. Yet this is doubly refractive and biofringent. Diamonds have a single cubic crystal structure, which means they are singly refractive, which means they can reflect the light. Once refract the light, you have a 1.77 to 1.98 refractive index on this RI. It's very, very refractive zircon, more refractive than a diamond. It's magnificent in its quality. Um, please forgive me earlier, I said it was seven on the most hardness scale. It's actually 7.5. Um, it's 0.5 more harder than I thought, which makes it even better. Um, so close surpassed by your sort of Corundum family in diamonds and in fact your, your spinel and topaz in the most hardness scale allowing you to put a great strength of facet on it therefore allowing you to get yourself a great gemstone um, luster from each and every single one because it's one of the oldest gemstones in the world it's had to go through extreme pressures and extreme temperatures so it is a really really hard amazing genuine gemstone and it is one actually, many people myths and legends sort of wear it as a protective talisman. I'm not saying you have to in any way, but it might look quite nice as sort of the rosary style, rose gold links. Mm. Would that look nice? Yeah, it would look lovely like that. Also, I'm thinking if it's, if it's at that level with diamonds and the heat that it's gone through, would it go in your silver clay as well? Because there's only so many gems that can go in silver clay. I think it might be one of them. I don't see why. I will check. I will find out. I will mm. find out what temperature it needs to be in silver clay um, heat. But, but of course, it, yeah, it's gone through a lot yeah. of pressure. It's one of the oldest gemstones. It's 7.5 on the most hardness scale. So if you can put topaz, well, it depends because topaz is treated quite a lot. So it might be difficult to put that in because it might change the colour of it. But mm. or not change the colour of it, but change it a little bit. So yeah. maybe not best putting topaz in. Um, I will find out. I think it's on Natalia's page. On Natalia's page. I think there's Natalia a, Coleman. There's a link or there is yeah. a link, so we'll have a wee look. I'd be interested to find that out actually. Mm, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Because there's only so many things you can put in the silver clay and it's nice to have the options. It is, definitely. 
Oh. Well, there you go. Because, of course, if you could do that and have all the sparkle and fire of your diamonds. Mm. Oh, yes, now I want to do that. Natalia, if you're watching, send us a message. Or if anyone right now can click on that. In fact, producer Danny, can you do that? Have you got time to have a look at Natalia Coleman? Is it on her presenter page or an actual? I think so. I know she's linked it because I, I know it's one of the questions that gets asked a lot. Ah, so, we're um, trying to work out if, um, with the Mohs harness of, of Zircon, whether we can heat it and put it in the sort of silver clay. If it's one, the, one of those gems that you could use. So Natalia, if you're watching, or if anyone's clicked on the, the Natalia's link on Facebook, who knows if it is one of those gemstones, because like, quite rightly, as Gemma said, if you could do that, that would be amazing. But it is one of the most incredible gems, one of the oldest gems on the planet, been around, thought to be 4.5 billion years. That's no joke, that's amazing. It is amazing. Can you imagine? No other gem, this is the, the oldest gem thought to be on the planet. 4.5 billion years. Whoa, Tanya Weldon, you, Karen and Eric, Carol's in, the Nets in, and these are all adding on to the over, over 100 odd that got them. How many have we got left roughly now? 37 and that's it so if everyone on the web checks out that will leave me 20 odd so on the phone lines it's 0800 644 655 you can join me in the phone lines of the web this was my example it's a bit ruined now because i've already shown you what zircon could do oh there's some victoria sponge cake thanks scott um so normally with the diamond you would just see one color uh, or sort of one refractive in, uh, one return of the light but with the zircon you get double it splits here into two whereas a diamond would just be one so this is a really bad doodle on a napkin so please forgive me but i was trying to do, i wanted to show you the picture but for for some reason it's in it can work in our sister channel but it's, it's not working on ours unfortunately we couldn't get it over if only i could carry it it's only from one studio to the next but we can't do it like that unfortunately all these fancy technical things but they're great when they work but i'm um, but it's because we don't have a floppy disk in the building. It's on the other channel on one of the sort of what's called as the desk. The directors call it the vision mixer. And um, if we had a floppy disk, we could have brought it over here. But there are no floppy disks in the building. How funny. Could you not use one of those sticks? They don't work. So you actually physically need a floppy disk. Ha! Huh. How funny. Anyway. Uh, 1995 in South Yorkshire, Manchester, well done to you. And the, it was just a simple toggle clasp that was used. We had to be messaging and asking regarding the, uh, the bracelet. It was made by our Gemma in roughly seven to eight minutes. Can you believe that? It was because I set my alarm. For what, quarter, sorry? I set my alarm for quarter two. The, oh yes, so, so to make sure you were here in time. Yeah, and it was, and I started it at bank. About 25 to, and it was done before the alarm went off. So, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I keep staring at you. You've got the most beautiful eyes, and your eye makeup's gorgeous. Thank you, Ali. Sorry, I keep, <laughs> you probably think, what is wrong with that girl? I just keep like staring at you while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ali, stay away from Gemma when she's got the wire. Leave her alone. I bless her easily. Sorry. <laughs> I will, I think credit where it's due. Oh, I think it's nice to say when you think. <laughs> Well, obviously, if it's nice, not if it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'll leave it with you. There's a few left, not many. But, um, but the bracelet and the necklace were all made from it. If you want to know more about Zircon, please do drop me a message and we will try and find out. Um, great, great question from Gemma. If it can be used in your silver clear note, I will find out. Um, you can join me on Facebook. My name is Ali Defoy or Twitter. You've got Gemma on there, who we believe is JM, J guest designer, Gemma Crow, we think. Um, it is correct. Danny has confirmed it is correct. Sure it is. Um, Jenna has been working away like a busy busy bee on wire. Yeah, the wire's here. Danny's like, have you got what you need with you? <laughs> yes, yeah, there. The wire's already there. We gave it to Gemma earlier. <laughs> Leave me alone today. Um, we've got your wire. Yeah. Now, this is 0.8 mil gauge and 1 mil, and this is the wire you've been working with. Yeah. I'm just trying Little to get pearl to rolling around. I'm not going to stab you when I'm. Oh, I poked myself in the eye the other week. Yeah, it was a couple of done. weeks ago now. It was so sore. Easy done. I do provide um, goggles. 
sometimes. Do you? That's yeah. what the director Tom's laughing at. He's like, where's your safety goggles, Ali? Yeah. I probably need them to be... No, I don't want some, thank you. I'm, not, I'm, I'm letting Gemma do the wire work. Gemma <laughs> knows what she's doing. No, no one at home wants to sit and watch me have a go of playing with wire, do they? Um, or do you? <laughs> Comedy. What you have made from that wire is unbelievable. And it's, it's growing. Not quite it's sure what growing. it's going to be yet. Maybe, but we've got to start. It looks a bit like mini mice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So it's quite. It's a vintagey. I'm looking at a vintage piece. The pearls and the opals and the zircon, just um, and the antique bronze, of course, makes it very vintage, doesn't it? How on earth do you do that? So, when you were gizmoing with the wire, and the yeah. gizmo is sorry, we just you just clamped it onder the desk here. Yeah. Um, we have the gizmo on the, sorry, I've got my back to you, sorry. Um, you've got the gizmo on jewellerymaker.com on the website, you'll be able to get a hold of the gizmo. And you quite simply wind it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you wind it. And then, but how did you get it round? So then you, you get your gizmo coil and you thread it onto another piece of wire. So right. you just thread the coil on and then literally um, just knot the wire pretty much. So just wrap one section, wrap the wire around itself like you know, like this, so that it's linked together like a circle. And then I've used those tails that I left through to just swirl and put some patterning on top of the coil. So it's a nice strong um, structure um, with, with like um, filigree work on top, which is quite vintage. That is so pretty. Can we have a go? Mm. Are we allowed to have a go? Yeah, we can have a go. What do you want to make? Should we make a... Um, Coil. I want to make this. I want to see how to do. Well, obviously we can't make this because this is obviously taking time. But right, just an idea of how to like coil the wire. Because you look at the wire and I look at that and I think, where would you begin? Obviously, we have lots of viewers who have um, had a chance to, to see Gemma's work before. But if you're watching for the first time and you think, how has it gone from a piece of wire like that to this? <laughs> how has this wire become this? Which is what I think um, all the time. <laughs> Although I have had a gizmo go before, and I, I really like the gizmo. Gizmo's I think this brilliant. is really good fun. The gizmo is brilliant. It gives you professional results with, you know, you don't need to have any experience really. So all you do is you attach your wire to these little mandrels. This is the tiniest one from the deluxe gizmo. Okay. Um, it's a really useful little mandrel, this one. And so your wire's attached, and you pop it through your bracket, and then you just turn the handle. Okay. And that's it. It's just it's amazing. It's as simple as that. What I'm doing is I'm I'm pulling slightly on the wire or holding it with my thumb against the bracket just to keep it keep it a um, even tension. You don't want a lot of tension. You just need an even tension. Yeah. So if you let it go and it gets a bit loose, will it get a yeah. bit bigger or it'll just there'll have be a gap in the middle, wouldn't it? Be a gap. And also it's got it might have a tendency to do this. This is something else that might happen. I'll try and force it to happen. Coming back up. Oh you yeah. See? It goes, yeah. If that happens, I just generally take it off and pull until I'm back to my coil All right. and then and then start again if I pop my thumb there it keeps the wire down and next to the bracket which generally keeps it um, keeps the coils going next door to each other rather than on top of each other apart from like that there you go and see the double wrap is that a bad thing well, it depends what you're looking for sometimes if you um, are going to end um, a gizmo coil it might be nice to have a double wrap at the end just for that extra strength okay um so yeah sometimes you'll actually do that on purpose okay so, so this is what Gemma was doing earlier when i was over on the other side of the studio since so she's just going away she's just winding away you can um, do it quite absent-mindedly yeah you can it's one of those things and of course now i am i right in saying you can make could you cut them into jump rings or yes. not yeah if you wanted to cut this is a very tiny coil so you probably wouldn't do so it so you maybe use with one of the bigger coils this tiny but what you do is you just trim them down so where one where the end of the wire ends you pop your pliers in and trim next to the coil you know on the next, next one the down gap. next one down and you get little tiny rings and i sometimes chop these up into small sections of spaces for in between beads as well they're very useful the coils Okay, so I've taken um, my coil, thread it onto a nice long piece of wire. I'd probably use a bit more than this, to be honest, but you can always Do you add. want more? There's loads more. No, that's fine. Look how much wire there is. I'm not going to do the whole... And you've made all of this? Yeah. And still got loads left. Oh, yeah. That, you know, that's going to have used maybe six metres of wire so far. From 100? Yeah, you can really go to time with 100 metres. 
Right, I'm shaping this into a circle just with my thumb. It's very pliable, so you don't need any special tools. And then when I cross that wire over, then I'm just going to take one wire and go through the circle, and one wire and go the opposite way through the circle, and that's just going to hold it in place. Then just reshape it. Okay, so I've shaped a circle. And now with these tails, all you want to do to get that sort of pretty filigree, sort of scrolly, viney look on the top, is you take your wire and um, you... I'm quite sure where the camera's going to be for this one. Where do you want the camera to be? Probably that one's going to be yep. easier, yeah, yeah. You got it. So I don't know, the, it's camera two, isn't it? <laughs> So I just, don't know either, don't you worry. You just take, take the wire and I'm making a loop. Now if you want to, if you're not confident to do this by hand, you can use your pliers if you want. Make a loop like so. And I pop my finger on top of it to hold it in place. Pull the wire down. And then thread it through maybe the ring. It's, this is quite random. Thread it through the ring. And then again, I'm going to make another loop. You see I'm just placing the wire almost. Okay, make another loop. Come through. And this is, you just keep going. The so some I'm going to leave quite loose so that I got quite a, a loose looking garland. I can't actually see what I'm doing because it's not facing me, but um, just pop another loop in there. So if I make a loop, I just put my finger on top of the wire and then pull the rest of it around. Then it just loops underneath my finger. Okay, and this is it. You keep going like that, you build it up. So you can see it already taking shape there. It's already starting to look That's quite viney. It's taking hardly any time at all. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It's just you build it up. And I've probably got several layers of laying on um, long strands of wire like this just to give it a bit more depth, a bit more interest. And it's here you've incorporated some of our um, Ethiopian opals and pearls, which are double superstar by. Did you use have to use a different wire gauge for those? I have, yeah. For the um, Ethiopian opal, just the sort of copper beading thread, was it? No, I actually have used. Or did you use wire? Not point four wire. Not point four yeah. wire in between. Yeah, just to wrap those in, and then you know the same technique as I've just shown you, just around the gemstones instead of onto the frame. So these are called thumb, thumb swirls, and if you really want to get to grips with those, Laura Binding's brilliant. <laughs> Grip thumb. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I've done that a few times today. <laughs> you have. Um, You're on, star on, <laughs> on form tonight. Um, Laura Binding's, um, I think it's wire work one and two, She does. she's brilliant at showing you how to do those thumb swirls and really get to, oh. get to grips with them. Get <laughs> to grips with them. So we're going to take the price down to 16.90. And it said 50 there, I don't know why. Is that for the wire? That's for the wire. That's very good. Is it awesome? Yeah, it is. Because it's like twenty four ninety five on the website. Yeah, it's a great buy. Whoops, there it is. Great buy. Oh, was a good buy anyway, even at full price. So yeah, amazing. So when we make it a, a little bit of a naughty, we only did it because you were here. <laughs> we had a wee message from an anonymous in Yorkshire who's got this wire saying, "Replenish stock. Can't buy it cheaper anywhere else. Excellent stock." And that was when it was at twenty four ninety five. So we've right. taken it down to sixteen ninety. So I, I'm sure that comment will still be valid, even though yeah. <laughs> probably more so valid the fact that it's down to sixteen pounds and ninety pence for you. Wow, it is excellent value. And the point eight gauge, do you use that maybe more so than any other wires, or less than any other gauge? Um, is it quite a good gauge to have? It is a it is a good gauge. It's it's great for um, rings and things. Um, right. It's great for structure, great for gizmo coils. It, it, it's just a really versatile one. You, you know, can make intricate patterns with it that hold. Right. Um, whereas if I did these swirls with a 0.4 wire, it would be um, they wouldn't hold. It'd be a bit, yeah, a bit flimsy. A bit flimsy, maybe. or even 0.6 might be a bit flimsy. Um, but if I did them with a one mil, it'd be too, too difficult to, to make them. So it's a great one for that in that in between, where it's not quite structure and it's not. So quite it gives you a bigger look, but you can also give yourself yeah. that that structure. Yeah, you'll find you need every gauge of wire, and they all have got their their benefits. And you'll find you'll of have course. your favourites as well. Laura Binding, she's 0.8 for rings all yep. the time, and it, I'm more of a one mil for rings. But then sometimes I have to use 0.8. So it swings around, right? So everyone's got their own preferences. Well, there you go. You've got yourself 30 days to have a think about it. But I think the fact that it's down to 16.90 and it should be 25. You're just taking a shy of 10 off. Mm. 
Maybe. Nick, that can give you a strand. Well, we, we've taken loads of strands to £10 today. And we've got a tool, uh, an opportunity for you to have your sort of um, ring making mandal set. So, or sort of a ring making tool set, setting your own gems. A gem setting tool, should I say. Gem setting toolkit is coming up. So, if you're thinking about it, that's a massive saving you've just made on your wire, which you may have even been going to buy anyway. Yeah. If you've been thinking about it, thinking, oh, I'll buy it at some point this month or I'll buy it at some point this week. Can I just point out your cards aren't usually charged till it's due to be shipped anyway. So if you're waiting for payday, which is, is it, are we getting paid it's tomorrow? Be, it's got to be close, isn't it? Is it the end of the month? Oh, I can't wait to get paid. I love payday. <laughs> Makes no difference to me at all. Does it not make a difference to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it just Aww. comes in, goes out. <laughs> I've told the man, the plumber, I can get my toilet done this week because I've got my payday. <laughs> I spent all my, my birthday on, on my workshops. <laughs> so I was supposed to save it for my toilet. It's funny you should say that because I was thinking, that's my birthday soon. What shall I ask people for? I thought, oh, I just need a new bathroom, so maybe I'll just ask, bathroom. Yeah. ask people to put towards the bathroom fund. <laughs> that's a good one. I didn't particularly want a new toilet. I had a toilet. I had two toilets that worked, but now my toilet decided it doesn't want to work anymore. <laughs> it wants to flood my apartment, which is great. So yeah, I need to buy a new toilet. And uh, I could have bought a cheaper toilet, right? Mm. If I, bought, I know they were having toilet talk on a Friday, it's Sunday night, sorry. But I could have bought a cheaper one, but it wouldn't have fit in the holes in the walls. So they'd need to do more work to cut the hole to fit the right one. So it would have cost the same if I just, I might as well get the one, what? oh, it's expensive for a yeah. toilet, goodness me. Anyway, £16.90. You're not getting this, by the way. You're just getting the wire to make this if you wish. Can we take a picture of this and put it on Facebook for everybody to see? So that when people want to copy it, because I want to copy it, I want okay. to try and do this. When it's finished, yep. We've had a, a wee text message in, and it's from Emily in the West Midlands. Hi, Emily. You've said, um, hi, ladies. I love antiques bronze. It's amazing. Um, and at that price, what are you waiting for? It's a must for the wire stash. Yeah? We think, yeah? Mm -hmm. That You can pay that price for a bunch of flowers easily. Sixteen mm. ninety. Get them some wire. Um, oh, right. I'll leave Gemma just now. Leave you yep. in peace, Gemma. Okay. She just made another one. Like this while we were talking, she just made another one. Yeah, they're very simple and quick. Once you've had a go, you'll, you'll know. What I'm going to have a go. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that all night. Um, lots and lots of you have it in your basket, confirming you can. I've got. St oh, oh, what competition. Sorry, I haven't told you about this for ages, have I? Uh, we've had one text in. Oh, with the right answer. I was like, only one person wants a bean scoop. I would just guess anybody. Um, who is mum is who? You have four mums to choose from. It's either Director Tom's, you, so you don't need to have the title, so it can either be Tom, Danny, Kerry, or Ali, and you need to work out whose mum is who. Text into 60777, JM Studio, normal network, charge, uh, normal network charges apply. Winner will be chosen at random with a bean scoop. Um, here are all the pictures. So there's number one. Mummy number one. Mummy number two. Here comes in mummy number three. And mummy number four. You've seen all four. I'm intrigued now. I want to know who everyone's is. I'm trying to guess too. I don't know. Quickly, right, come on, run out. And then you can see everyone. You can see all the two. Kerry was seen yesterday and she's, um, she's hiding today. Deservedly. She didn't apply to, to have a job to work in cameras to be on the other side of the camera. Um, leave her be, Tom. <laughs> I'm on your side, Katie, don't worry. So, Tom, oh no, Danny, it's in fact. It's fine. Tom, Bruce, Ed, Vicky, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Tom in the blue, Danny in the dark, dark blue. <laughs> blue. <laughs> Me in the pink, and Kerry with a brand new blonde here, too. There she is. <laughs> Good work. Um, so, I've got time because I'm for... Oh, oh, Gemma with the wire. You're going to love this. This is one of the best tiger's eyes I've ever seen. And this is the gemstone in my collection. I have more tiger's eye than anything else in my entire really? collection. It's not even my favourite gemstone, but I have more tiger's eye than anything. I wear it all the time. It goes with everything. These are the biggest. It's like caram It's like liquid caramel. It's, it's, it's awesome, but they're so chatoyan, there's so much chatoyancy, it's, it's un unreal. Yeah. 
Now, of course, you have silks within your gemstones or, or within phenomenon stone like this, your tiger's eye, which, when it works with the light, gives the impression that a tiger's eye or the, <laughs> that the eye is winking at you. So those silks within the gem, normally inclusions, we, we don't... Sometimes we look for gems without inclusions, sometimes we want them with... This has inclusions within it, and it gives you the illusion that it's winking at you, which is why it's called tiger's eye. You might have seen a cat's eye gemstone, they have silks again. The inclusions give you the impression that it's winking at you. This is one of the most chatoyant tiger's eye I've ever seen. It's unreal. It literally looks like I've got caramel running through each and every single stone. It's one, and we've very rarely seen these size. And, and then earlier today, actually, I saw a size with um, Jenny with a 14 mil. I think they were. I think Danny and I were having a look when we walked in because we thought, how how uncanny is that, and how funny is that? We've just seen the biggest ones that we've got tonight, and there were some big ones on today, just as we saw them. Caramels, massive, big, big nuggets. Oh, can I show it to Gemma? Gemma, look at this. Look this. at this. I do. Because it's unreal. I don't know whether it's because they're bigger, you notice it more. It's, they're fantastic. Aren't they huge? Yeah, they're, they're really nice and pale as well. Like it's a, like soft. Some can be quite too dark, almost you don't see. Yeah, you don't get to see as much of the, the mm. shimmer or the chatoyancy, should I say. <laughs> Aren't they yummy? They are. Would you use the antique bronze wire with them? I would, yeah, and I would use gold with them and. and, and <gasps> And um, rose coated, <gasps> rose gold plated. plated yeah. Fantastic. Oh, there's the something. Just knotting, you know, if, you, if you've got a knotting tool, just knot in between, that'd be so um, rich, extravagant looking, you know, if you're wearing those. I'm not gonna lie, I nearly wore my tiger's eye necklace, which is just a strand and it's just knotted. Yeah. It's just a knotted strand of tiger's eye. And I thought I won't wear it because it'll bump with my microphone all night. That's the only reason I didn't wear it. And it, exactly what you said and I have so many comments about it all yeah. the time and it's just tiger's eye I don't know I'm saying just tiger's eye but these are massive big big nuggets or not even nuggets big rounds I can't even speak because I'm so excited thank you yeah, 11.95 Danny sings to me now and again Gemma Isn't and he it? sings a song that says why don't you take me to that place you've never taken me before I always think he's talking to me. He's talking about the price. Taking the price to a brand new loaf. <gasps> no way. Six ninety-five. What are you? What, why? <laughs> this is what I have to deal with every night, Gemma. He has no idea. He can't have it. You do have an idea. He's just eating lemon drizzle cake, so he doesn't care. Six ninety-five. That is quite remarkable. It's, it? it's ridiculous. I'm not going to fib, it's, it's, ins it's just silly, it's silly. I am shocked, amazed, I know not what to say. And there's some rose gold actually, so you can see it against the findings. Darren, Anna, how many have we got? 176, get yours now while it's at 6.95 and don't wait for it to go back up to, how much was it, 11? 11.95. Even at that price, I would have thought that was great. 11.95 we were happy with. Yeah. As it, you heard me say, it's the biggest size. I haven't seen a size like that before. Sharon's got it out of Hebrides. Multi-bid, even multi-bid is still just over what the price one, of it, one would have been normally. Oh my goodness. I have so many of you coming through and, and I cannot believe you've just taken it to 6.95. 6.95, is that really where it, it is as well? I don't understand. I have no idea. Cynthia, Susan, Anonymous, David. When, when we see you like something, you want to try it, we'll give it a go. We will do everything we can. Just one of those in a ring. It's a, it's a big, six, I was gonna say 14 mil, it's 16 mil. I can't even fit it in my finger, it's so big. It's jam packed. How many have you got? Well done to every single one of you. These are flying out the door. Well, they would have been flying out the door at 11.90. I'm not surprised mm. at that, but for 6.95, you, you, he is giving them away, isn't he? He is. Can we yes. cut the strand and give half a strand to everybody? Because it's a really long strand. <laughs> Why are we not allowed to cut this strand? He's allowed to drop the price. I should surely be allowed to cut, decide how many you get. No? No? 
Gemma, do you agree with me here? I agree. Gemma agrees. I should be able to decide how many you get if you decide the phrase. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It works like that now. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four. You get 25 roughly on one strand. How much would you, even if you charge five pounds per piece, I would charge more than a fiver if I put it into jewellery, but I'm being silly. Seems as, which is so Danny is being silly. Sandra and Eleanor both got two each. Well done to you. I can't even hold it. It's that heavy. How many carrots is that? 680 carrots. At six pounds and 95 pence. What is that? Is that 10p a carrot? Is that 10 pence a carrot? Carrots in the shop cost more. Ten, that's 10 pence. It's roughly 10 pence a carrot. Even the viewers are messaging in, Danny's saying. Thank you. Danny, Sharon in County Durham has messaged and said, Danny, you can't be doing that with the prices. I agree. You didn't get the email. We had an email sent out that we're not allowed to go to prices of 6 95 because airtime-wise we can't afford to it because of the cost of airtime. And you said, I decided after a while I wasn't buying anything else, then I have to have these tigers. I, you do, actually. You do. I agree with that. But with the wire as well, wonderful fit through these. Oh, they're big holes they are. Can I cut the strand? Well, actually, yeah, yeah, what do you mean, no? You can't do that if I can't cut the strand. I just wanted to see if the wire fits through. In fact, to be honest, I probably don't need to cut the strand. I could probably just fit the wire through if I bend the, if I bend the thread down. Can we see if the point eight fits through? Because if mm -hmm. it does, there's no point in me saying, oh, you can put it through if it doesn't fit. Definitely, you could probably get a one mil as well through that. Definitely through, and that's with the thread in there as well. Possibly even a 1.25 on those. Yep, Perfect. Perfect. So you okay. can use that wire with them as well, as well as maybe higher gauges. Definitely, obviously, all your smaller gauges. But 0.8 definitely fits through, quite even possibly 1 mil or 1.25. But if you want to see, you can get this home, try and put the wire through. You don't even have to take it off the strand to try and fit the wire through, because we just did it there. Great to see each and every single one of you at 6 I'm a little bit sad at that price, but I'm really pleased you got it. That's just it's not normal. Not normal. Mush normal. You what, sorry? Je pas normal. C'est pas normal. Did I say it right? Which is the Danny's half French. That was it. Um, and I was trying to teach him how to say a French saying and I didn't realise <laughs> he was half French and he was like, yeah, it's not how you say it. Mouche normal is what my friends say, my Tunisian friends say that, it's not normal. Mouche normal. Threading pack, is this it here? You get gemstones with a threading pack. Ah. So, oh! Gemma, you might be able to help me with this because mm -hmm. Uh, these are memory wire for rings, bracelet, and necklace. Yeah. And these are pretty popular, aren't they? Yes. You just poke yourself in the eye. Oh, bless Almost. you. Almost. I did that, and my eye cried for like the whole night. It didn't it was quite so do it. So sore. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. It's it is called ring, bracelet, and necklace memory wire, but don't let that limit you because the rings can also be earrings, um, links, connectors. So, you know, it's it's just the size. The size is geared up for a bracelet, a necklace, and memory, and ring. It doesn't go on. <laughs> That's because you probably wouldn't use all 14 coils at once unless you were going to unwrap it and go like oh, this. Oh, well, it doesn't fit on. <laughs> but it's the simplest, um, the simplest way of making, you know, an effective bracelet. It's just to thread a load of gemstones onto there, onto one of the you see three coils so that it wraps around the wrist a few times. So what would you do? Like just start off with one, thread them on one and then yeah. keep going until it was about three coil wise that way there. Yeah, or I'd cut it ready and then put a loop on one end so all the gemstones didn't fall off. So say I cut it, would I cut it there? Oh, there, is that, that yeah, count that would three? Yeah, that would give you three, three rings around. A little bit more because your wrist is a bit bigger than, than that and then you have to lie for oh, the yeah, gemstones. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, because then the gemstones take up space take in your it, ring as yeah, well. Especially if you're then. using this tiger's eye. Oh gosh, yeah, they're huge. And, and then, then, oh yeah, now it fits. And then you just, you just <laughs> wrap it on. No clasps needed or anything. Oh yeah, look at it just go. I know Mark. My hand is trying Mark to squeeze says, it on. <laughs> Mark says earlier his best sellers. 
Are they? That's what Mark, you know, Mark sells a lot of them with chips and nuggets. He said they're his best sellers. And of course, Mark Smith, you may have come to one of the chips and nugget workshops, but there's also DVDs on there, but you can watch tutorials for free as well on the website, and uh, sorry, on the um, YouTube website. If you type in Jewelry Maker, you'll find our channel and type in chips and nuggets, you'll see that. Because that'll be quite good actually, because it's quite, what have we got a gauge on it? Does it tell me what it is? I'm going to try and find out for you to see what the gauge is and the necklace so you get quite a lot going on here so would you use these ribbons with this normally or would you not use the ribbons would you use them for something else no you can definitely use the ribbons with them they're nice for spreading out your gemstones so you sort of concertina the ribbon on oh, and it adds yeah. a little you know bit of interest um, between oh. or you can you know you can use it as a framework so you wrap the ribbon round and then you've got um, like a, a frame that you might want to frame something with you know okay so you can frame it, you've got your red, yellow and blue. So we're going to do it for you right now. Oh, I thought we were doing it now, sorry. <laughs> That's what I was just talking about for ages. <laughs> so am I now. <laughs> Oh, Gemma, you just can't get the presenters these days. No. Um, <laughs> oh, you can maybe thread on some of the zircon if you've got that. Would that work? It might be a little bit too... Too um, small. Too large a gauge for the zircon. What is the gauge on it? So you've got agate and red coral as well, so I haven't even shown you these. Get two strands of gemstones. Your bead and thread, your elastic, your monofilament, which is what you would normally get in a kit when you join us for the first time. Um, your beading thread, I've got about 20 beading thread reels. I've got loads of monofilament wire, bless you. Thank and you. loads of elastic. <laughs> so you have coil, it doesn't tell me the gauge of your coil, it just says 14 coils, memory wire, bracelet, necklace and ring. But as Gemma said, don't let it limit you to just bracelets or just necklaces or just rings. No. Um, you can expand on that all you wish. Um, that's just the name that's called. 240 carats of the agate drops, which are 14 by 10 mil. And then you have for yourself your uh, red coral tubes, which are eight by four millimeter. You get both of those in there. <laughs> Which is a Danny just went, oh, I bet Gemma doesn't think this is all going to go under a tenner, does she? Is it? Okay. Uh. So there's no findings, but you've got, I've had so many people asking, I don't know if it's, it's been seen since I've heard all these questions, but everybody's been asking me for the memory rings. Everybody's been looking for these that I've been hearing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's been on since I've heard of that, but I know everybody was looking for it. Yeah. Um, I've got all three of them together, so you don't need to choose, and the gemstones, and the thread, uh, or sorry, the, the ribbon, which you can use in Kumihimo, and you can use in Macrami, which I, I did not know until I went to the workshops, two different yeah. arts of sort of braiding, which you can see on YouTube, and you can see on the DVDs as well. Um, you've got yourself the, the yellow, the red, and the blue. And you can use the memory wire as a lazy strand. You. Oh, can so you? So you can have you know, a wrap around Macrami bracelet. <gasps> A wrap around macrame style sort of Shambhala idea bracelet. Yes, that sounds Amazing. fab. Oh yes, and I did see in the Chips and Nuggets DVD um, the memory wire being used with uh, Mark Smith, as, as Gemma say, one of our designers, Mark Smith, using it earlier. Oh yes. So you've got your agate and your red coral and your ribbon and your, why have we put all this together for under ten pounds? Why have we done that? Danny's showing off. <laughs> I did say 14.85. I did think that's where we were going to go, and and I do think because our Gemma is here, there might be a little bit of a showing off for Gemma. I think he's doing it for our Gemma. What are you expecting to get? What do you want? Something else for for to take home? You took home a yellow sapphire bracelet last night. You did. did. Yeah. Who made that? It was made by one of our beading buddies. Really? Rosanna and Joanne, I think he took, uh, no, sorry, Rosanna and Susan, I think he took Susan's home. 9.95 for all of it. Now, just for the coils alone, you'd be expecting how much?
Mm -hmm. And it is memory wire, it's not just a coil, it is actual memory wire, because I know I brought you coils before, it's just sort of coiled wire, it is memory wire for you. You're getting that, you're getting your two strands of gemstones, how much would you pay a strand? Individually, how much would you expect? At least five ninety-five for a strand. Say I had the agate for five ninety-five, the coral. Say it was ridiculous, four ninety-five. Mm. Even those two alone, that would cover your nine ninety-five. You're getting your memory wire. So even if you weren't after the gemstones, if you just wanted the wire or you just wanted the threading pack, so you're getting the three different colours of your ribbon: the yellow, the the blue, and of course the red. Huge quantity of each for you. You get yourself, um, gosh, five yards of the lemon organza ribbon, five yards of the perp, uh, the poppy red, and five yard, uh, five sorry, five meters. It's five point four yards. Forgive me. Five meters of each of the colours. Clear elastic is 0.8 mil gauge. It's six yards of that, or sorry, six point five yards of that, six meters. Your monofilament is 0.25 millimeter, and it's gauge 80 meters or 87 yards. And you also get yourself your organza bag with the black drawstring, approximately nine inches. I've never seen their Ganza bag measured, but that's that for you. <laughs> and the 8 by 4 millimeter in your tubes of red coral, as well as your big, big agate drums, or agate drops, sorry, 14 by 10 millimeter. That's an unusual colour of agate. I haven't seen that very often. It's almost sort of like a, a burnt orange, rich, rich reds. It's really a sort of coffee bean colour. Sorry, I've got the wire in the way and everything. Hmm. Have you seen that colour before? <clears throat> On the agate? Yeah. Yes, I had a strand recently and it was nice because in one of the kits, I think it was on Friday, not that shape, but that this particular colour. Mm. It was nice because you could separate all the colours. I had a green sweet, I did, and a, um, a browns. So, you know, I was mm. able to have different yeah, colour ways. Up. That sounds quite nice, because I mean that one's like a sort of caramelly golden yellow, that one. Looks quite dark in the, the camera, but when you get it home you'll be able to see, and the coral. So, um, oh sorry, lots and lots of you in it, Nine ninety five. I'm not surprised. Just for the memory wire alone, I would have thought that would have been about nine ninety five. Um, But evidently, doesn't matter, because um, Danny's loving it, and he just wants to, we've had a couple of questions regarding the zircon bracelet that I'm wearing. I wish it was mine. It was made by our amazing Gemma at the beginning, before even the show started. It only took her a few minutes, um, eight, seven to eight minutes roughly for this bracelet. And we did have a wee text message actually. And can we, what was it Sonny? What thread? It was just a beading thread I believe, just is that correct? Just the same as in, in that threading pack. The same beading thread that's in this yeah. Threading pack that you've just seen there. There you go. So we did it at the start of the show, the, the Zircon, but um, a lot of people keep messaging in about the bracelet saying there's any left. And because we have a few left, not many, we only had 165 to start with, there are 29 left. Um, bear in mind there's still quite a few in some baskets. I'm just going to remind you of it, how to get it, because if you're watching it, I feel terrible if there, if there um, are some left and you feel you can't get it because I've not shown the code. So the code is there, VKGZ08. Don't, jot it down and call me when you can. It went to a whopping low. Um, it should be much, much higher. But it was a star buy. As we only had one star buy that hour, I was able to do something extra naughty on it, as opposed to it being just one one star buy price. So I was able to take uh, as oh gosh as low as I possibly could, and we managed to get it down. For those of you watching tonight, it's brand new, and we took it to just nineteen ninety five for the entire strand. Now bear in mind the entire strand wasn't used in this bracelet. There's a dream pendant, or should I say necklace, with the, the prettiest pendant on here. So, so pretty this. And again made by our Gemma. Using a pearl that's part of our superstar buy. And the zircons all the way along. Everyone's going, go Gemma, go Gemma. 
loving the fire and the brilliance and the beauty of zircon and again if you have any questions about zircon please 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 ask me don't be afraid don't be shy and um, obviously if i haven't mentioned something it's not because i don't think it's worth mentioning it's maybe just because i haven't had the time or i've forgotten or i've, I've thought something else i wanted to, to, to make sure you were aware of so if there is anything you want to know about it it is a genuine gemstone one of the oldest gems on the planet it's a magnificent bifringent and doubly refractive gemstone which diamonds on the other hand are not. And don't get me wrong, I like diamonds. I'm, oh, I love diamonds, who doesn't like diamonds? But, but I think to do with the fact that they've been marketed so well means that, that people pay more than what they probably should for a diamond maybe these days. And we can't offer diamonds for your tiaras, but I can give you more fire and brilliance mm -hmm. for your diamond, uh, for your sparkle in it as they're going. So said, why, why pay for fake? Why pay more for fake than paying less for real? Yeah. Genuine gems. So the last chance to get it, I will not be recapping it, I will not be showing it to you again. It's your last shot at it at 19.95. For those of you who have already seen it, please forgive me. Thank you for your patience. Um, I don't normally ever show you anything again, but purely because we managed to get it to 19.95 as only having one star buy in the first hour, I wanted to make sure as many of you as possible could take advantage of that offer before it gets sent back um, or before it sells out. So if you've got one in your basket, try and check it out. If you don't have one in your basket, there's a space for you, but as I say, um, about 12 left. I think I'll leave it with you um, I will show you how to get in touch with the website or how to, to use the website I'll be back on the other side of this very short break after I have a slice of Victoria sponge or at least a bite of it um, and I'll see you in just a sec Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. It's not long until we announce the gem scoop. The winner of our competition, if you've been entering the competition, thank you so much, thank you so very much. This is your last chance to enter, so I'll let you know when it's finished. Um, but do text in your answer to the studio 60777, so 60777, that's the code you need to, um, or the, the number you need to text to, GM Studio at the start of the message. And if you can put your customer number, that would be awesome too, because we know who you are. And, um, normal network charges will apply and the winner will be chosen at random from the winning answers. Whose mum is who? So there are four of us here. There are more of four of us here, that's terrible. But we have four pictures of four mums. Whose mum is who? So there's picture number one. There's picture number two. Picture number three. And picture number four. 
Are you two all right? They giggle, they see. Carrie's bright red. Gemma's holding her nose. Are you all right, lovelies? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know where the giggle was. I'm going to find out. Um, if they don't tell me, I'll bring them the cake. I know that Gemma's partial to a bit of carrot cake. Um, so yes, so is it going to be Tom's mum? Is it going to be Danny's mum? Is it going to be Kerry's mum? Or is it going to be my mum? Well, all four of them are in there, but what number is whose? So you need to either message one, two, three, and four with the name either Tom, either Danny, either Kerry, or myself, Ali, and work out whose mum's who. I still haven't worked it out. So there's number one. Is this Tom, Danny, Ali, or Kerry? Number two, is this Tom, Danny, Kerry, or Ali? Number three, is this Tom, Danny, Kerry, or Ali? And number four, is this Tom, Danny, you got to have you, Kerry, or Ali? That's it. Guess who it is? And if you're the correct guess and you're chosen at random, you will win a bead scoop. We love a good bead scoop. Do you love bead scoops, Gemma? I do. You do. Gemma has a bead scoop in her workshop. <laughs> What are you two up to? Sorry. I'm currently just trying to get a bit of cake to go down. I'm like <coughs> choking at the minute. Those two are bright red and hysterics. This is hilarious. Kerry, are you alright? She's like, oh my head. Where do I want to go? Well, I'll tell you that we've got this coming up. It's a gem setter toolkit with gem mounts, especially with the launch of our sister channel at the moment um, on Gemporia. We've launched Gem Collector, as I say, my friend Matt Namara will be on it tomorrow. You can have a wee watch. You get tools. It's with, oh, oh. Well, you get all that. Well, there's the ring mounts. <gasps> These are gorgeous. Well, here we go. Here are the two ring mounts you can choose from. So pretty. So they're both for rounds. Two different sizes. This one is roughly a JTK. Does it say the size? I put it on. This finger is uh, an eye and a half. I usually wear a JTK from our channel on it. That fits. I believe this is a JTK and I believe this will be, this is a large, I think, which is our R to S, I believe this one. From ring mounts. Six prong for you. Wow. Wow. Think there's a stone missing. <gasps> Gemma, may I borrow one of those pearls? See if it would fit in. It may, it may not. Thank you. If you were to open them a wee bit, it might just fit in, you know. Mm, mm. That would be a massive pearl ring, wouldn't it? Or that one. It would as well. don't know if it would stay. Might need to put a pin in it, but it's got a hole at the top, so you might be able to pin it in. <gasps> Love it. Love it. So you get both the ring mounts as well as the gem setting toolkit, which is perfect with all our loose gems that we're having. Um, now this, the pearl that I showed to you there is part of the Superstar buy, which I haven't even properly shown to you, but it is part of this bracelet here. And then these amazing dream Ethiopian opals. Now I explained a lot about Ethiopian opals on Thursday night and on um, uh, last night on Saturday night as well. This strand is amazing. It was used in Gemma's design earlier that you saw. Oh my gosh, it's brand new. It's amazing. You were excited about this strand when you saw it earlier, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. It's like Angelina fibres. <gasps> you know, it's that same look, isn't it? All those colours. Fantastic. Love this. So excited. I can't stop looking at it. The oranges, the purples, the vibrant, beautiful greens. And you get a whole strand. Mm -hmm. So that's Superstar Buy, as well as massive 10 millimeter pearls. They're huge. You're going to get a whole strand of it. Currently, that strand is, is with our lovely Gemma. But I've got three in my bracelet and one in my necklace. Oh, incorporating the zircon as well, which we will not be recapping. If you haven't got it by now, then I'm sorry, it's gone. Well, you can check it out in the web, but it's gone from my table. So, did you say I was allowed to choose? 
Are you feeling all right? Well, you know exactly what I want to do, don't you? Blue lace agate. This is our blue agate, isn't it? So cool on the skin. I love genuine gems on the skin. Do you like that cool feeling when you just first pick them up? Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? It's sort of match your eyeshadow. It's like a sort of <coughs> pastely pinky lilac. Yeah. Is it? Am I correct? Yeah, I think I've got a mixture of shades on today. Have you got green eyes? I've got blue eyes. Blue eyes. You're gorgeous. I'm going to stop hitting on Gemma Girl. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I'm going to try and not make it as obvious. <laughs> 160 carats. Only 37 in stock. Oh, That is a wee shame. This, oh, I, would, I think this would be lovely in bridal jewellery. Do you think it so? Yeah, it would. I, I think especially little flower girls or... Yeah. You know, I can imagine that looking really pretty. Oh, a little yeah. pudgy wrist. You know, a little girl's got a little pudgy wrist, haven't they? Aww. I think they would look sweet on a little pudgy wrist. A pudgy wrist! Oh, oh that's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if my best friend would like it if I said her child had a pudgy wrist. Oh, no, it's cute. <laughs> but all, all children, it doesn't matter what size they are, they, they're all pudgy around their joints because they're sort of extra cushioning around their joints when they're little, aren't they? Yeah. And it's, it's when that changes, you notice it. Oh, That's what I, I miss about Tom about being little, his pudgy, little pudgy knees. He's not, he's not got pudgy knees anymore. No. He's got knobbly knees now. Yeah. He's all knobbly and bruised and battered, you know, from running around outside. In the playground. <laughs> not, not from Gemma, just from no. playing outside. <laughs> no, yeah, it wasn't me. Everyone starts out there. It wasn't me. After your 6.30am wake up call this morning. <laughs> what a sweet art. So, it, oh, that was 14 95 you change the price when I was talking to Gemma. They distract me all the time, or I do it myself. I did that myself, I admit I did that one myself. Um, and then they take the price down and just, just go for it, just like it happens every day. Well, technically it does, all right, I get that, but it shouldn't happen every day. I love these calming colors, they really are. I know people say that, but it, I, I think they are calming. Yeah. I notice a difference when I'm presenting, all of a sudden I just, I, I, I'm not all, hyper if that makes sense yeah you do you notice there's some things you notice the change in the presenter's tone when they're presenting and that one pearl for jenny clear it was pearls she suddenly become very calm it's so it, it does make a difference it massively yeah. does i just it's a dreamy color i don't think blue does it any justice it's not blue it's just it's forget dreamy me not, forget me not blue that's what forget I would say. me not blue yeah oh i like that Forget me not blue. I'm thinking, well, I'm obsessed with, I think it's a Care Bear blue. <laughs> <laughs> You're not with me there. I had I had a Care Bear, but it was orange. Did you have a Care Bear? Yeah. I orange. loved Care Bears as a child. It was one of the best things. <laughs> really? I've got loads of space on this one. Apparently this is this is not as popular as I thought it would be. Really? Has everyone got one? Is it just me that doesn't have one? I think once they see the pearls later. With the pearls? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got them. You have, may I have a couple of them? <gasps> With the pearls, that would be fabulous. Okay, it's not knotted. <laughs> it's not knotted. I love how everyone else starts <laughs> to tell me that because I are always, everything. <laughs> have you noticed, Jim? I drop everything. I never used to be this clumsy. Yeah. So I started on Jewelry Maker, not even on a sister channel, I was fine. Just when things could fall apart, they fall apart with mm. me. This. Don't need to dream. How has Vicky Carr electrocuted herself 12 times? Five times? How? Oh my gosh, apparently they're saying be careful when working with Vicky Carr, she's electrocuted her. It's one of our presenters, if you're new, sorry. I thought I'd cut the entire power for Stratford upon Avon the other day because I was using my hair dryer <laughs> and all of a sudden the power went and I thought, oh, it's my apartment. And then my whole apartment had gone out. I thought, oh, it's a pretty new hair dryer. I can't believe it's just like cut all the power to, to my whole apartment. I thought, I don't think my whole hair dryer was broken. Mm -hmm. Then I, um, I went into the hallway 
no power in the hallway, emergency lights were on. I thought, oh no, my hair dryer's like blowing the apartment. <laughs> then I was driving through Shetland for even all the traffic lights had gone out. None of them were working. I thought, was it my hair? They're all winding me up upstairs. They're like, Ali, it was your hair dryer. Dodge your hair dryer set. <laughs> power off. I'm going to have to leave those with you because they're still there. And um, you're not loving them as much as I, I thought you would have. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to leave them there. What is that? Pink tourmaline. Say what? Where is it? Number three. <laughs> it's in pink tourmaline. Norm, norm, really. How much sugar have you had, Danny? Are you still on those mojitos? Fart. Oh. Are they a bit big for the pearls? Or would you actually. If you think about it, you used smaller zircon with them earlier, didn't mm. you? You could wrap them around like in the pendant again. Sorry? Like in your pendant. They'd look nice wrapped around. Around one pearl? Yeah. Can I do that? Let's see if I... Oh, they're lush. So you've seen different varieties of pink tourmaline. Some that have been faceted, some that are less faceted. They're more of a natural shape. Come here, you. Oh, I'm not as good at this. I'm nowhere near as good as this as you are, Gemma. Threads sticking through and everything. Get out of the way. There we go. For the final 13. Well, you know what I'm trying to do, it's just not happening. Nobody else has ever brought this strand apart from Danny and I. We're a little bit obsessed with, obsessed with this pink tourmaline. It's gorgeous. Oh no, everybody else apparently has wanted to, Danny's telling me to tell you, but we've just hidden it apparently. <laughs> He's the new kid on the block, so he thinks he can be a rebel. Or is being, sorry, not thinks. Oh, it's just all getting tangled. I just wanted to, Gemma, how come you make it look so easy? But you need the right threads, that's all. I need, I've not got the right threads, guys. That's why it's not happening for me. And you're trying to keep it in camera shot. That's not easy. There's an idea of surrounding it. That's really cute. I like that. Oh, and if you did one with maybe zircon next to it and put them next together. Like a daisy chain. That'd like a cool. daisy chain. That'd be nice. Oh, yes. 10 spaces. Should we bring you the price, the naughtiest price of naughties? Only price it's ever been it was a very naughty. 14.95. I'm gonna take this away. Nine spaces. I will announce the winner of the bead scoop after this. Don't worry, I know you're all asking. I want to know actually. I don't know who all the mums are. Well, obviously, I know who they all are, but I don't know who's with who. I do know one of them, yes. <laughs> At fourteen ninety-five, I can't believe that. Two, four, six, eight. They've not even caught us, and we've done this how many times? We've not done it many times, have we? This is our third time. And we've not yet been caught for taking us to 14.95. I hope Vicky, if Vicky Carr knew that, she'd be ready. Because that's her favourite, isn't it? I, that, well, I, I didn't actually know that, but now, I, now I've found I'm sure, out. I'm sure it is. She loves the pink tourmalines. Hiya, Vicky. Well, Vicky, this is payback for not telling me the fact that you had a brand new rose quartz rosary strand that there were over a hundred of. I didn't even know we were in the building when I had five left. I nearly cried. <laughs> Not fibbing, I did genuinely. You saw me, didn't you? I couldn't get over that. I didn't talk for about an hour, yeah, it was that day. It wasn't sulking, it was just sad. I was just sad. Anonymous now to Hebrides, Anonymous in Leicestershire, Yorkshire, Deborah, Lancashire. I've got Jan there, I've got Norfolk there, Carol there. Arguably one of the rarest varieties of tourmaline, the tourmaline family, and we're giving it away at 14.95. Should be probably up 19, in fact, probably 21.95 should this be. 
Oh well, it's not. When has anything been what it should have been today? Producer Danny just wants to impress Gemma. He's saying Gemma. Uh, and everyone at home that we should do this exact same brace that Gemma made with the zircon with the pink tourmaline. Would that work? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You think? Yeah, oh, and we could use those um, amethyst, the concave cut. Oh earlier. yes, those really nice amethyst or rose quartz. Or oh, rose quartz. Not that I'm a little bit biased to the rose quartz, but I am a little bit biased, massively biased towards rose quartz. For uh, 14 95 if everybody in the web checked out, I won't have enough. So I'm going to leave that Gloucestershire, Colorado showing an interest. Thank you very much, Bertha. I've got Berkshire showing an interest, Staffordshire, Yorkshire, all showing an interest for the final four. It is the final four. It's only ever been uh, with Danny and I, because we're a little bit naughty. Um, blaming Danny for that. But yes, it's available for you, 14 95 Whoop, there it is. Is it time for the gem setting toolkit? Oh, announce the winner. I'm allowed to pick a number. Should we do the winners first? And then you can sit at home being like, oh yeah, I got it right. And then I'll tell you who won it. Cause that's more fun, isn't it? If I just tell you who the winner is, then that's, that's not fun. So, picture number one, mum number one, with a lovely bunch of flowers and a card. Is that your mum, Danny? That's producer Danny's mum. That was Mother's Day three years ago. He didn't do quite the same this year. He went for some jewellery that was made, or oh, bought even, bought, he didn't make the, the ruby ring, he bought his mum a ruby ring. How awesome was that? So number one was Danny's mum, so if you got that right, well done you. Number two, ooh, whose mum is this? That's Tom's mum. That's uh, director Tom's mum on his wedding day. Oh, she looks lovely. I love that. <laughs> Danny's like, yeah, she is. <laughs> Something you want to tell us, Danny. Uh, <laughs> mum number three coming in. That's my mum. Oh, I want to see my mum now. I wonder if she won a curling competition. Oh, so that's my mum. I'm Ali. And then, so uh, by, by, by the power of deduction, <laughs> we award our number four is Carrie's mum. They're all going woo woo in the gallery. Oh. She looks ever so happy, bright and summery and having a big, was that a glass of wine? Glass of wine and bright pink. So did anyone get it right? Yes, you did. And the winner is, I'm gonna pick number two, Angela in Ayrshire. Bead scoop, bead, bead scoop, sorry, has gone to you. Well done. I don't think I could have got that right. I don't think any of us could have got it right. We, we should have known. So Angela and Air Scoop, bead, Air Scoop? Angela and Air Scoop, Bead Scoop on its way to you. Loving your work. Time for a star buy? I think so. Now, I'm not going to fib to you in any way. I have no idea how to set my own gemstone jewellery. Yeah, I've never done it before. GIA certified doesn't mean you learn how to set gemstones. I understand the process of it, but I've never set one myself. Um, this is our gem setting toolkit. But there are only 20 to give away. That's it. 20 left, but sorry, my face was in there. I was trying to look at everything that was in it. Um, but you also get yourself two mounts. Does it say the, set of the size of the mounts? Ah, yes, it does. Ring size five. How good was that? I got it right. Ring size five, ring size nine. So you've got two. Nine is an R to S, size five is a J to K. How good is that? I got it right. I'm proud of myself there. I'm really, I'm pretty good with inches and sizes. Shuff there. Right, gem set your toolkit. So what you have for yourself, uh, have we got the exact, um, obviously you've got some tweezers there. You've got a clamp there. I don't exactly know what all of it is. I'm not gonna pretend, I've never used it before. I have no idea. But I've only got 11 left and I had 20, so you obviously know what you're gonna do with it. Um, <laughs> they're flying out the door. Do you, have you got a, 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 um, a breakdown of what everything is, Dan? He's whistling. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> Doopy do. Hopefully, I'll just shrink and Ali won't know what I'm talking about. 
So, oh, well that comes out. Oh, it just sticks together. That is cool as. That's, that's a wedge for holding your, I think it's for holding your rings. So you put your ring in one end. Put my ring in one end. Yeah. I would imagine maybe the it. round end. Hold it round the other way. So it's, so it's, um, oh, so it's flat. The circle is like that. You could do it like that. And Did I put, do it wrong? Put the wedge in the other end. And you, the wedge goes in as much as it needs to to keep that end that much closed. Do you see what I mean? Thanks, yeah. Gemma. That just holds it. And you can put that whole thing in a vice then, because you obviously don't want to put a ring in a vice. No, goodness no. So you can put that in a, in a bench vice if you wanted to. We can just work with it like that. <gasps> So you've got that, and you get both ring mounts. One is an R to S, which is also known in the UK as a size large. Uh, one is a J to K, or, or a nine. One is a J to K, which is a two left. Um, if you want to get some loose gemstones, um, obviously if you want to find ones that don't have any holes drilled in them, have a look on Gem Collector and a sister channel. My friend Matt Namara will be on there tomorrow um, during the day where you can buy loose gemstones. You've got some flat, uh, or sorry, your, um, they're flat pliers, but they're not known as flat nose pliers. They are needle nose pliers. Snipe. Snipe. Snipe pliers. nose pliers, yeah. Oh, snipe. I like that. Snipe. So you've got those, as well as your, um, I've no idea what this is. I'm not going to lie. No scooby doo that. Is that got, it's got a round on the end. It's got a groove. It's a groove, a rounded groove. I think that is something to do with, um, I love this, putting Gemma to the challenge. I'm not even going to pretend. I'm just, I have no idea. I think it's something to do with the band on a I was going to say for the shank. It's something to do with that. I'm not quite sure though. Don't know. Fits in there though. I've got two left. They've gone. Well done to you. I'm sorry if you wanted one. And I'm sorry that I didn't know what it was. Um, not that I didn't know what it was, but I didn't know all the dimensions. You, normally I have a breakdown that I could work through, but I was so busy trying to get you a million and one star buys today that I didn't manage to get it sorted. So forgive me for that. But um, you obviously seem to know what you're going to do with it. But if you need help with it, drop me a message and I will find out for you. But you, you do get the two ring mounts as well. But they have all gone. Well done. Right. Star buys coming up. Pearls. And naturally, the Obi Novas. This is so exciting. I was so chuffed with these. Coming up very shortly, indeed. How soon? You have to wait. See, 10 moments. Oh, yeah. But bear in mind, it's two, Dan. Two. I'll leave it with him. <laughs> I'll fit in what I can. Well done and everything. If you've just joined me, welcome to Julie Maker and Mally Defoy. It's so good to see you tonight. I hope you've had a lovely day, whatever you've been doing. Um, what am I going to do now? I'm not allowed to choose now. Oh, I wanted this one, though. Oh, thank you. You, well, <laughs> I would have said you're a sweetheart if you hadn't just called it yourself. You can't really tell someone that you're a sweetheart. He's like, I'm a sweetheart, aren't I? <laughs> 55 carats. Sorry, I've just been told that when Danny went out, I didn't go out last night because I was working today, but producer Danny, who had a sore head, seemed to manage to go out um, on a jewelry maker night out last night with um, producer Liam. And uh, who else was there producing Liam? Hannah Oxbury, um, guest designer. Laura upstairs, one of their, um, well, she used to be one of our designers and now she's full time upstairs. And, um, and who else? Oh, Scott, sales manager Scott, and Martha popped out for me, but I think this was just before Martha arrived. When Danny arrived, they asked him to rate himself out of 10, apparently, <laughs> and he thought seven was safe, so he gave himself a seven out of 10. But apparently everyone else gave him less. <laughs> <laughs> or gave themselves less. I thought they meant, they, I was like, that is so mean. You can't walk in and say, what would you give yourself out of 10? And then say, I would think you were like a two. <laughs> Liam gave himself a two out of ten. Oh. Um, Hannah gave herself a what? Four out of ten. What did Lana give herself? Six out of ten. And Danny gave himself seven. I've never played that game before in my life. 
I, that, and that's the one reason why I didn't go out with you on a night out. <laughs> Jokers. So what you want us to say, Danny, you should have been... We, we would agree with you. Is that what you want from us? <coughs> you think he's safe in the sense? Oh, God. See, they're distracting me, and there's a whole reason for this. Kerry's probably worked this out by now. Kerry's on cameras. Kerry's mum was number four on our um, they, uh, on our list of mums, if you hadn't seen it earlier. Um, at 55 carats, they always tend to distract me when they're going uber low on price points. I think he's going uber duba duba low. For £8.45, and pence, Labradorite is a massive favourite, and please forgive me, I haven't really gone into this strand, I get easily distracted with these two, I tell you. Um, but this is your grey Labradorite, 6mm, 55 carats, natural, genuine Labradorite. For £5.55. You can't take it to his usual 505, which is the name of his favourite song, but he's taking it as low as he can to 555. Oh no, no, because I've said that. He doesn't like to be defeated, so he's going to buy off. <laughs> oh, I didn't manage to appeal to his competitive nature. <laughs> Gosh, you would only you, you would never know I knew. You would never know I knew he was competitive in any way. I'm trying to do everything I can to get prices as low as possible for you. You know that, that this shouldn't be down as low as this if it was normal, but but we've only got about 90 minutes left and we've got lots of star buys to do. We've got lots of naughties to bring you, so we might as well. Karen and Darren, <laughs> that's quite funny, sorry. Karen and Darren are in, Linda's in, Anonymous is in, Karen and Kent is in as well as West Sussex, Deborah's in Manchester and Cheshire, you're with us. Are, are these shapes something that you like to work with, Bicons, Gemma, the yeah, vine cones? Yeah, definitely. They're really um, versatile for, um, you can put them in BD beads, they tessellate nicely. Ooh. They're great as spaces. I like that tessellate. They're very nice. Oh, I like that. I like to have them as like um, little charms, just a couple of them dangling down. Would that work? Yeah. Yeah. I like some charms. I like sort of textured things, things I can play with. Yeah. I like playing with things. <laughs> you know, like when you get a necklace and it's got a couple of charms or a bracelet, it's got <coughs> some kind of charms on it. Like I have a sort of macrame bracelet that I like to play with the little, the little beads mm. that you use to sort of tighten it. Greatest, sorry, well done. There's lots and lots of you in. Check it out when you can. I've got loads of these. Have I got loads of these? I've said that and I don't even know. I had 70, I've now got about 50. And I've got about 10, 15 of you on the web. Check it out as when you can. I need to fit in my two star buys. I'm gonna keep this open for you. There's still plenty for you. There's about 45, 50 left. Check it out as when you can. But five pounds and five pence. <laughs> because Danny's competitive. I'll leave it with you. It's now time for a superstar by duo. <laughs> Times two. Superstar buy, I've got a duo <laughs> We have opals after your pearls. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Um, sorry. I have um, pearls for you. Are we doing the are we doing the pearls first? Yeah, we're going to do the pearls first. So, you've seen the pearls for a while. I've not really given you much chance to see the opals yet, so I'll give you a minute to prepare. You can still add to the order, but it's a double superstar buy. As I said, I'm, I was only supposed to have one. I've been a rebel, I've got two. <laughs> were we only meant to have a hundred? <gasps> We're supposed to have a hundred. Danny's taking three hundred. 
Wait, to be saved for another show. Danny, I don't think it's Gemma's face. She is not amused. I think no. Not your show, Gemma, don't worry. Danny's made sure of that. He wouldn't want to disappoint you. He's worked all night trying to get you to like him. Okay. <laughs> Got to be back in the evening shows. <laughs> oh. Right, so. The meant to be 300, no, they're meant to be 100. We've got 300 strands. Now you get the full strand. Obviously, uh, I, I gave it to Gemma earlier. It wasn't even meant to be a star buy. We weren't even supposed to have it, which is why I don't have two strands to show you. Uh, one to give to Gemma, one for me to work with. We've only got one strand in the building. Um, the rest are on the warehouse. 10 millimeter pearls. Now, looking at them on the strand, they look very, very sizable, and I remember I first looked at them and thought, what would I do with them? Because they are really big, they're larger than your average pearl, but when you set them as daintily as, as Gemma has, with, for example, did you get the zircon? Where are you wanting to get the pearls to go with it? Did you want to make a solitaire pearl pendant? Because they are that big, they are 10 millimeter pearls. You would want to make your simple, solitaire, elegant pendant, um, a dreamy sort of everyday pen that you wear all the time. You're, I mean, imagine you're renowned for pearls. If that's what you wear every single day. How many people in the world can just be renowned for an, a genuine pearl? And these are, na oh, they're natural. They've not even been bleached. Sometimes pearls are bleached to get that pure white. These are naturally this color. Oh, well, there we go. Straight away, that changes the price point massively. They're naturally that white, naturally that pure great great shape to them with pearls they're never valued by their their carat weight because they are quite light they're, they're valued by their size they're valued by how smooth they are they're valued by um the quality of color but also the texture of them too whether they're sort of pitted or whether they're they're lovely and smooth how spherical they are as i say they are all the sort of attributes of judging a pearl you've got natural pearls you've got 10 millimeter pearls, big pearls. You've got yourself that wonderful surface, really, really smooth. Now and again, a little bit of pitting, but if there wasn't, then of course these would be up, well, they wouldn't be on a strand. They would be in one of a kind pieces. They wouldn't be on a strand. That, and so there's, there's the opportunity we can offer to you. The beautiful pair of earrings that Gemma's made and the necklace incorporating the wire and the mesh. Wait till you see this. How gorgeous is this? Now, Gemma made this within the show because you didn't get it beforehand, did you? <coughs> no. So with 10 millimetre pearls, I've already got the West Midlands, Lairland, you've already got yours in London, Yorkshire, Cheshire, you're in there as well, you've already got yours. If you were to make a salt of it, now bearing in mind, um, I have one pearl here, mm -hmm. one pearl in Gemma's beading box, is that right? Uh, yeah, one pearl in Two in the pearl. earrings, so that's four. How many pearls are in the necklace? Ten. Ten pearls in the necklace. So plus four, that's giving you 14 pearls, plus the three on here, 17 pearls, plus the rest of the strand, 17, 18. 20, 22, 4, 6, 8, 10, 32, 4, 6, 8, 10, roughly 41 pearls in this strand. It was roughly a 30 centimetre strand, which obviously we've had a wee go at. So Gemma's made from, this is from the strand. She's already made the bracelet, the pendant, the pair of earrings, the necklace. There's two pearls, one I used for it to show in a ring earlier, and the other one is left in the beading um, tree that Gemma's got. Everything else is left on the strand. So you can make all of these pieces, a bracelet, a pendant, earrings, a 10 pearl necklace, and have the rest of this strand left over. Mm -hmm. So you can make all of this again. You can make the bracelet, the earrings, the pendant, and the necklace again. Three times. Three times. Mm -hmm. oh, amazing. Now, for that necklace, you've had, I mean, you, it hasn't even taken you four hours to do that. You, you've been in here working on other pieces. But what would you sort of charge for a necklace like that? Um, it's around... At think? least 30 pounds? At least, yeah. At least 30 pounds. So if we were to offer all of these pearls, for 30 pounds, knowing you could make that necklace 
uh, and the earrings and the bracelet and the ring three times over, mm -hmm. or not the ring, sorry, the pendant three times over, that would be good, right? Yeah. That'd be about 90, well, 90 pounds just for the three necklaces plus whatever you would charge for the bracelet, the ring, the earrings. You would make your money back straight away, right? Mm -hmm. Within the first piece that you sold, I'm giving you an idea of how low this is gonna go. With the first piece that you sell, if you just made one necklace like that, or if you wanted to put the pendant, the bracelet and the ring, now this is ridiculously silly, but say you put the, ri the ring, the, uh, sorry, the pendant, the bracelet and the earrings together for 30 pounds, 10 pounds a piece, you wouldn't do that because it's far too low, yeah. I think. But say you were being really conservative, really pretty silly, and you've not got the confidence in your pricing and you're wanting to test the water, water pearls, huh? but maybe you're being just really, really reserved and wanting to see, Say you were being silly, or maybe you were making it for a friend and you didn't want to charge them too much, and you thought, well, it only cost me this for the strand. Say you charged £10 each, that would be £30. You would make that money back just from selling all those three things together. You have got the most beautiful design from our Gemma. And Gemma, you wouldn't mind if anyone sent you a me ma message on Facebook as to how to sort of recreate that. You'd be quite happy if, yeah, if anyone wanted help to make that actual necklace. That's fine. Sometimes I have to bear with me on, on waiting. To Obviously, yeah, because you've got a DVD. To, but Gemma's filming a DVD, our own DVD after this with us after the show. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Would you like to see the price? How many have we got left? Oh... We've got a good quantity left. We're only supposed to have 100. Say we had 100, we would almost have sold out of what we had to offer. But we were allowed 300. 1995! I know, it's not even 30 pounds. Brand new, massive 10 millimeter pearls, completely natural in their color. And, and quite versatile and easy to work with, Gemma. Very easy to work with. Yeah, the drill hole's quite a good size you get. Um, an 0.6 mil wire through, which is really? great for pearls. Yeah, so they're even more versatile than usual. Oh, that's good, because I was thinking maybe a 0.4, or maybe your beading thread you would use with it, but you, you can actually use 0.6 wire yeah. through it. Not all of them, and, but they, they, it's so close that, uh, uh, you know, even slightly with your ream, you don't have to over ream them or anything to get. But main, most of them, the ear wires went through, which were 0.6. So. Well, definitely not 0.4 and, and, and majority not 0.6, maybe need to ream it a wee bit, but even if just one or two, even if one or two didn't go through, yeah. you could use a different gauge and work them with something. Oh, I'm so pleased. If you've got somebody maybe who wanted a bespoke tiara but didn't want all sort of big, big pearls, you could just use one or two of these and work it in yeah. to have a bigger pearl but not sort of over lavish. Mm. Maybe 10 mil might be a bit too big for a pearl tiara but one or a couple in there. No? You, yeah, you would go with 10 not. mil pearls? I mean, just just that simply that strand around a bun, like the Audrey Hepburn style. Just, you don't I even want need to do bun. anything. I want one. Just have I got a hair, hair bobble? Oh, I want a bun on my head. I want a bun with pearls around it. They're flying out the door. Oh, I'm going to get a curvy grip. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have a bun in my head. Now I need to get the opal in. Ho, 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 ho. Can I do this? Is that what you mean? Obviously, I it's do. not a very good one. I do, but you know, great. Sorry, big, I've got my big wire thing. Great big bun with those around. A great big bun. That's not a very big bun. Make a bigger bun. Would that work? It would definitely work. I've got loads. Of, that's overlapping at the pearls at the back. It's completely overlapping. Oh look how messy my hair is. Sorry, I don't care. Pearls in your hair. Oh, that's a really good idea. A big bun with your pearls in there. Oh yes. What was that, sorry? We have had a message in. Maureen in London. Ooh, why did anyone not tell me Gemma's on tonight? You need to join my Facebook page. You need to join Gemma's Facebook page. Did you put it on your Facebook page? Gemma didn't. I gotta say. I, was I did. It was a little bit of a surprise for us, a little bit of a treat. We were, we were very much treated. I'm not gonna fib, I did ask if we could have our Gemma tonight. I did ask, 0800 644 and they said yes, but only because, it, Gemma's filming a DVD tonight, um, straight after the show, which meant I was allowed to have Gemma before the show. Hee <laughs> hee. So yeah, you've got to keep watching. That's the whole purpose of the late show. We like to surprise you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we do. 
Oh yeah. So at 1995, you need to tune in at 5 till 9 p.m. Not wait till 5 to 9, but 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. Um, now everybody has been talking about our new Ethiopian opal, our brand new strand. It's out of this world. Are we gonna do it? How, how soon are we gonna do it? At 1995, you can keep calling for the pearls. They're still available, but what I'm going to do for you is bring you in now for the opal. So everyone with the pearls in their basket, try and check them out when you can. Now is the time to get the natural Ethiopian opal. How amazing are these? Now, as as you know, 40 centimeters is more than our average strand. 30 centimeters is our average strand. So 80 centimeters is more than double that. 82 centimeters, you're on another level. We are jam packing Ethiopian opals to you. Brand new, I launched a brand new strand on Thursday, flew out the door, I had the last few last night, again sold out. What I've got for you tonight is a brand new opportunity, never been seen before this strand. You're getting a huge, huge, amazing array. Now these aren't just, look at them. They aren't just nice opals, they are amazing. You're getting everything you would ever want in an Ethiopian opal and an, an, an opal anyway. You're getting that beautiful quality. Now, many of you will know that the rough export of this gemstone has been banned from Ethiopia, which is why you need to get this, the fact that we've even got any, because the price is going up in Ethiopia, Ethiopian opals. Just if you, I mean, that's just sort of obvious if you think about the fact you can't buy it naturally from, from um, Ethiopia. Now you have to buy it when it's been faceted or shaped or tumbled or something has to be have done to it. They don't sell it rough anymore. So the fact that it's here and it's available We've managed to get a hold of it before that happened. You need to make sure you get it because the price will be going up. It already has started to show in our sister channel for our faceted stones. We can't do anything about it. We can keep it as low as possible, but I imagine Ethiopian opals will get to a point where it's not going to be worth it's not going to be worth buying it because you're not going to be able to to be able to buy it at the same price. The, the, the price point we're buying it for um, once it's been fasted already is going to change dramatically whether people still, still go for it or whether it's just going to be too expensive mm. for us to offer to you is another matter. We'll still have it in a sister channel um, but many of you will know just the other evening um, I was really sad because I used to present the Larik collection on our sister channel which was one of a kind bespoke pieces all four figures dream dream choices and never before had one been an Ethiopian opal and the other night they had one it's the mm. first one ever so bearing in mind Ethiopian opals are going in the four figures at the moment obviously I'm not saying it's the same caliber it was a big big stone it was very different but what I want you to, to remember is just because they're nuggets please 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 do not um, do not forget what these should be in quality and colour. Um, used in the dream necklace that Gemma has made. Gemma, that's the most dreamy. And she's used wire mesh, almost like a cord almost. Yeah, like a cord. It's lovely like that. It's beautiful like that. Mm. But those, you, I've only put a few of those open in, but the colour that flashes off them, you only need a few. I wanted to cluster them all together, but I just haven't had the time. I got a bit carried away on that necklace. <laughs> so. So I want to apologise. Mm. You, you do what what's sort of in your mind. No, but gosh, I, I couldn't even possibly create any of this. Never mind all of it. Um, Eleven ninety five is all we're looking for. It. That's all. And I'm going to worry about the price changing dramatically. And we're offering it at eleven ninety five. Amazing. Isn't it fabulous? It is. There's so many of them, and like I said, you only need a few. That's, this is, do you remember I was saying earlier I have to get the authenticity card with opal because people don't believe it's opal, they've never seen it like that. This yep. is opal that people recognise, you know, instantly. Yes. It's, you don't have to explain what it is at all. Everybody knows that that's going to be opal. The minute Beautiful. you look at it, you've got 30 days to make your mind up when you get it home. I've got so many multi-bids. Now you can continue to get this. If you're joining me on the, on the, the television, PXSF. 21 is the code you need to write down to, to the call centre. They're flying at the door, but I did have a big quantity of them. It's a full 80 odd centimetre strand, 82 centimetre strand. Trust us, trust myself, trust Gemma. Get it home and give yourself those 30 days to make your mind up. You'll make your mind up. I mean, it's amazing. And it was only first discovered in Ethiopia in 2008. First time we bought it in our sister channel was November 2011. Gemma, thank you You're so welcome. much for joining us. It has been the best night. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. It's been a lovely evening. You thank have. You.
Yay! We have Gemma all day, every day, if we could. Thank you to all the team. I've had a lovely day. Thank you for joining me. Have a great week next week. Um, you can have a look at the design inspirations, which is coming up next if you want to keep watching. Um, but of course, I'll be back on Wednesday with the double Labradorite brand new duo. But until then, from Gemma and myself, all the team, take care and we will see you very, very shortly. Have a lovely day. Here at Jura Maker, we have a commitment to providing genuine gemstones. We do that by up to three lab tests and we have our own in-house gemologists. That therefore means that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Insert the reamer into the hole of the pearl and move it backwards and forwards with a slight twisting motion. The drill shape of the reamer will remove the pearl material from the hole as you enlarge it. Work until the hole is as large as you need for the threading material you're using. way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the watch live button on the front page. You can also use our refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join Jewelry Maker this Mother's Day for some great offers, exciting new strands and a game of guess who. Mother's Day on Jewelry Maker. Join Jewelry Maker and Specialist Guest Designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Uh, it's the Why Work for Beginners course that I'm on today with Louise. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's been a wonderful course, uh, starting from very basics. Every question that uh, we had for Louise, she's answered, and it's been a marvellous um, uh, education in learning to do things with Why Work. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Welcome back. Remember, the flush cutters really close to a sellout today. Uh, and if history repeats itself, the flush cutters will sell out. If you've just tuned in, we've got the flush cutters. They're $29.95. Teresa's just said to me, can I have those, please? And I went, all right, then. <laughs> just give She said, I can't do what I've got to do without them. And I can't find mine. I've left them at home. I need them. Now, uh, I'm going to give to you the opportunity to grab the essential items to make this beautiful ring amongst so many other pieces. Look at that, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Design your inspiration with Teresa, Silvery Moon. Now, one of my absolute, in fact, can I just say, 
three strands of my absolute favourites. I adore Peridot. I love the colour. It's my daughter Mia's birthstone, so I want to wear it all the time. It's my partner's birthstone, it's my dad's birthstone. You know, I actually think you've got to get as many birth gemstones in your collections. Because actually, if you're creating pieces, let's say, for instance, you've just created a Mother's Day piece. Well, actually, I think, you know, things like that, your mum wants to wear your birth gemstones as much as she wants to wear her own. So making a whole family tree of gemstones, maybe, and give to, maybe you've got brothers and sisters, you want to put all of your gem all of everybody in the family in that piece maybe it's a circle of friends and you want to make a, a friendship piece put everybody's birth gemstones in there I'm going to give to you also birth gemstone of March in this wonderful aquamarine strand you've also got beautiful morganite in here isn't this be the beryl all stars are really stunning and what I love about this strand is the cut and the fact that they are drilled at the Kool-Aid which means we can make Put, we can make them stand perfectly. Look at how Teresa's put them in the ring. And they stand to attention because of the way they're drilled. They're drilled at the coulée of the gemstone, right at the bottom, right at the tip. So it allows for you to stand them proud in tiaras and fascinators in earrings. We're going to see so many examples of this with Teresa's jewellery in just a tick. Now, this really is a stunning strand. And because it's graduated, you can make matching sets, the earrings that match the necklace, that matches the, the bracelet. You can make a whole entire set if you're doing bridal pieces, perhaps you can make matching cufflinks with the larger ones as well for the groom. Now let's have a look because we've got your favourite gemstone for two consecutive years, Labradorite or Labradoodledite as it's also known in my, in my vocab. Look at this Labrador Essence now. The Labrador Essence here is very, very, very striking, very strong in this gemstone. I just adore this collection already. For the gemstones alone, I need it. But I'm not just going to give you the gemstones. You're literally going to have everything you need to create the entire collection. Now, let's talk about how much you would charge just for this ring. How much money would you think for this ring alone? Very gemstone heavy with the Peridot, Aquamarine and Morganite all in one. What do you think? 40 pounds? It's got all that peridot. Tell me how much, text in, how much would you pay for something like this? Because we've got minimal amount of gemstones actually in here. A lot of skill, yes, we're gonna see that uh, in a sec. Text us live in, how much would you pay for each individual piece? And then let's start writing it down. Let's start thinking about making profits, maybe. Maybe you make jewellery like I do. I don't sell my jewellery. I give it to my friends. My sister takes a lot of it. My daughter absolutely takes those. Sometimes my son will even take a Shambhala bracelet. Now, you know what? If, if I thought to myself, you know what? So many people say, make me this for that. Oh, can you get me? Why don't you start doing something like a jewellery party? It's such a good idea. You get all your friends around, usually wine, sometimes cheese and jewellery. Perfect night to me, perfect night in. Now, if you want to start selling your jewellery, think about the gemstones that you're getting in. Think about actually feeling proud about the gemstones you're using as well. Now, if you want to create what Teresa has created, I'm going to also give you 0.4 wire. You're going to get 100 metres of that. Now, you're also going to get 0.8 wire, which is wonderful because 0.8 is your structure. It's your muscles, but it's also got some give. It's malleable. You can use this on your wire twister. You can use both on your wire twister tool. And actually, Teresa has used the wire twister. And guess what? I'm going to give you your wire twister, the smaller wire twister coming up for you later on the portable one. Brilliant tool, that is. One of our biggest sellers. And you're also going to get your 0.25 wire. Now, 0.25 wire is wonderful if you're using tiny gemstones, <laughs> if you're using intricate gems of distinction. If you want to do the um, tiara twist, that's what you want 0.25 for. It will also do a weave. You can create crochet with 0.25 you can use it on your bead loom if you want some and we had the bead loom yesterday it was so popular if you've got that you might want some more 0.25 so let's talk you've got the gemstones three wonderful strands boasting a lot of carat weight and you've got gemstones that people are already very aware of peridot is a household name isn't it peridot beautiful peridot was one of cleopatra's favorite gemstones along with emerald peridot was found on mars by nasa peridot holds a, a long history with the aztecs and the Egyptians and then you've got that beautiful beryl it's so pretty and labradorite so these are some of our absolute favorites I am thinking if you've got the bead loom you need this as well 
30 carats in the Labradorite, 80 carats in your Beryl, and you have got, let me see, 110 carats in your Peridot, huge carat weight, EXG C60. So if you were paying, if you were putting these items individually in the basket on jewelrymaker.com, everything in separately, you pay 51.70. When you think about the content of your basket, that's wonderful value. But you know that by shopping with us here in the daytime on Mother's Day Eve, we're going to take that price tag down for you. 0800 644 is the number you need to be dialing. At 34.95, you are seeing another sensational deal. Have you got an open basket? Did you get the flush cutter pliers? Or did you just tune in? Did I say flush cutter pliers? I blinking did. Make sure you've got them in your basket. Uh, your flush cutter pliers are on the bottom of your screen right now. £34.95 for Teresa's Silvery Moon. I love this kit. I'm going to just... Oh, half the stock's gone of this one. You've got to be quick. Let's get on over. Trot. <laughs> oh, chair. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to sit today because you're sitting. So I think maybe I'll sit too. Uh, now, Teresa, I love your collection. I think it's absolutely stunning. Now, I've never worked with you before. So when I came down today, I didn't know what to expect because I'd never seen I'd never seen any of your pieces before. So I'm I've just got to say I'm absolutely blown away. I've already stolen from you. So that, <laughs> that's a good thing. Now have a look. Have a look. I've made my mark. Have a look at Teresa's jewelry. And if you like me haven't seen any of Teresa's, I'm in love. I'm in love with that. Teresa, it's subtle. Um, what, ta talk to me about the inspiration behind the colours and the designs. Um, well, it's quite funny. Um, in terms of the, the gemstones, I will, I will fess up. Um, fess up. When, fess up. <laughs> well, when I first got them, um, I, I knew I was getting the, um, the multi-barrel strand. Yeah. Um, I had an idea I was getting the Labradorite, so I kind of picked them out. I thought, oh, yeah, that you know, nice pastel kind of colours. Um, and then I got the Peridot, and it's like, wow, that's a bit overpowering is I it, love it is it actually going favorite. to work together um, so the main piece that's the reason why they're all kind of separate just oh, in case I, love that. I kind of built it up as I went along um, now you've used the peridot here in yeah. the chain so it's a subtle addition now this chain I don't think I've seen that kind of link before so I'm really excited to see if we get really close to the link really excited to see how you did that I think it's so pretty and it looks so elegant it's very boutique is this kit now let me just tell uh, Sarah and Pam Janice and Catherine you've got unchecked baskets you could miss out on this uh, now have a look at the next pendant that Teresa Teresa has done you, it's <laughs> Teresa sorry I know you're Teresa have a look have a look at that it's so gorgeous I love your wire work I'm so in love with the earrings I cannot tell you have a look. Have a look at the earrings here. Absolutely stunning. You've got pink morganite in there. Look at that, look at that. And then look, another ring. We've got so many. Oh, that, I love that Peridot bracelet. <gasps> this is all so stealable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. We've got another text message before we get going. And please remember that Teresa's here to take your questions as well. Uh, now Josephine, gorgeous Josephine. Hi Jenny, favourite presenter, and Teresa. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll pay you later. Pay you later. <laughs> it's not my mum, no. Uh, I love Teresa's wire work and follow the designs as I uh, record all the programmes. Morganite too, my favourite hurrah. I know it's beautiful. That beryl is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, Morganite is from the beryl family. Uh, now I've got um, I've got so many of you sending messages in. Please keep them coming. Uh, we will relay your questions. Of course, to Teresa, you do need to check out baskets. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you the barrel strand, and I'll show you that morganite. Just in case you're thinking, where's the morganite? Where? It's on the barrel strand because obviously morganite is from the barrel family. Have a look at the pinks. Gorgeous. Okay, we've only got 20% of the stock, so you know what, let's crack on. <laughs> uh, now, you are going to be using the flush cutters in this. We do still have a few of those left. 29 95 if you need them, then you've got to check out your basket <laughs> for them. Okay, so which one are we going to do first? Um, we'll start with, um, with this one, where I've kind of separated everything out. Um, I should say, I, I had separated them out on this one, and then the others, I did put them all together. It does work, because... When you've got it, when you've got all the peridot together mm. in a strand, yes, it does look quite quite bright. When you separate them up individually, oh, the um, it does actually tone down quite a bit. So they actually, do the ring is a proof of that. Yeah. It's Teresa. Sorry, yeah. I talked over the top of you there. Uh, have a look. The ring is proof of that. It's just so beautiful. I really.